Steve, go. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Steve Anderson, the Rum Meister here. I'm sorry. Uh, right now, I am a little bit messed up with my computer. <laughs> and hey, everybody. And, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry, everybody. It's just the computer world. I did some virus scan, and, of course, I uh, the bug uh, struck me down. I do see John Biel, uh, Johnny, Jay Hannon, Dave Nesdal. Thanks, the guys. Who else is there? Is that Caleb? <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, I want to thank everybody for putting up for this. Uh, pretty lame. <laughs> I uh, no, it's all right. wouldn't wish this upon anybody else, but hopefully <laughs> me and Johnny can uh, fix, fix it uh, tomorrow. Uh, what do we got? It's September 21st. It's, what is it? That's the, what is it, the last day of summer or the first day of spring? <laughs> uh, but, uh, first yeah, day of fall. I hope uh, everybody <laughs> has a good weekend. <laughs> And uh, you guys continue on. Go ahead. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> on nice. Mars, maybe. Nice, Jay. Uh, Steve. <laughs> I agree. All right. See you, Steve. Okay, thanks, guys. Out. Hang out in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Keep keep restarting your computer, man. Oh, okay. He's gone. Oh, be. Bye, Steve. <laughs> First, <laughs> spring on thanks. Mars, guys. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> it's the last day of summer, folks. <laughs> Tomorrow I like the first fall. day of spring. Yeah, yeah spring Steve, Steve, I would I would keep restarting your computer until it works. Or try try the, uh, un uninstalling the uh, the whatever the Hangouts. And, uh... I I personally think that if he sober when he sobers up, it'll, it'll work. <laughs> yeah, spring spring would be the furthest season away from us. Right now. <laughs> well, the southern hemisphere is celebrating spring. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, we're talking Steve Australia. Where's our, who's our uh, Fender Rob? Guru? Fender Guru must be just starting uh, spring, right? That's true. So he's not entirely wrong. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Hey. Hey. We're gonna, hey. We're gonna. We're like we're we're helpless right now because usually Steve runs the ship. You know, <laughs> it's like what right. do we do? Who takes over? Housekeeping. Yeah. Housekeeping? Housekeeping? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just recite movie quotes the whole time. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> hey, did you watch that Bears game? <laughs> Stop, Stop no, I don't know. I don't know uh, Bill Leverty's tech. I don't know much. So Caleb, I don't think I, I thanked you face to face yet. Again. Yeah. My man. Nice. Yeah, I keep leaving those picks on my safe in the bedroom. Awesome picks, man. Otherwise, I'd show them one off too. I just bought some picks today. I, I went to the the last remaining music store in, in my area. And I it's a little mom and pop store, and I had I really felt like I had to buy something. There wasn't <laughs> much there. But uh, they had a good selection of picks. So I got some Dava picks. I got some Fender picks. Mm -hmm. How do you like the Dava picks? I haven't even tried them out. I, I just got a whole variety. Uh, Bet you don't have a chocolate one. No, chocolate. That, he gave you one, huh? Well, he, oh, keeps, he, wasn't, he said he wasn't going to give you one. He keeps dropping them. Of course. What did I get? Yeah, Bo. Bo got there was, some picks. It was a real weird fuzzy pick. It was like a... Fuzzy it, pick. It's it was fuzzy. It was fuzzy. It was a, a fuzzy funny, pick. squeaky sound. I got one of these. Have you seen these? What you is that? Here, a dump oh, truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel! What are you talking about? <laughs> Christmas vacation. <laughs> I'm just going to recite. You guys can have a normal show. I'm just going to talk about... Uh, Movie quotes. Yeah, let's see the movie quotes. Who we got? How many we got? Who we got? Well, let's see. John BL, let's let's do it. So they go to the top and do the roll call. Yeah. We got Fender Guru. We got Johnny uh, saying Steve call me. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. We got Poo Ninja. <laughs> Dan Halen. Steve Anderson's in the chat anyway. Uh, R2, R3, Larry Riker, 
Who else? Uh, Amanda Coombs. JJ's House of Jams. Jason Wade. Uh, Jimmy T. Nightbot. Caleb. Uh, let's see. It's like you're looking out your window and you're and you're seeing who's playing uh, some, some basketball in, the, in yeah. the court across the street. Yeah. Yeah. I wish uh, I could. Uh, I wish I could be with them. Oh, this, this <laughs> Jimmy T. Seven over eight. What? Uh, that's you. Yeah. Fender Guru. I'm looking at the same people here. JJ. Thrash Metal Fun Riffs. Johnny Bean. There's a lot. Geez, I'm not even halfway through here. R2, R3, I think I've said that. Uh, who else? Mike is himself. <laughs> you see that message? Yeah, Dutchie, Dutchie 5150. David Ennis. Zach Thong. John Bulware. Stan Adams. And everyone else. G. Bushnoff. And, yeah. Mike is himself. I think the next, <laughs> I think the next poll question should be how big is your poll? This poll? <laughs> hey, he's holding that's a big. If that's what you're calling a poll these days. <laughs> hey, you guys, guys want to see my hot dog? <laughs> is that you what you're calling hot dogs? It? It's like nice wood on that poll neck thing. Uh, I want to know if anybody can guess what kind of guitar this is. What brand, what... Uh... Show me the headstock. I uh, I blacked out the headstock long ago. Uh, it's a five string. Looks like a squire to me. Aria Pro Two. Nope. Was it, am I right? Dave is correct. Dave. The squire. Nezdal knows all. Of course, Nezdal. Dave. Of course, he does. But it's a great bass. It's uh, I put Bartolini pickup pickups in it. Uh, it's always stayed in tune, really nice. It's always the neck is uh, solid maple, pretty much with the uh, what rosewood fretboard, and probably what an ash body, or uh, I don't know, whatever the basswood, basswood. Mm -hmm. If you love it and it sounds good, that's all that matters. If this, you, yeah, this is my second second bass ever, and it's uh, I've had it for twenty five years. Wow! If you love it and it sounds good, and it, <laughs> and it's really good wood. If you love it and it sounds good, clap your hands, clap, collapse your hands. <laughs> you got the clap. All right. Oh. And I found some some old pictures of me with it. Can you see that? The guy with the hair. I had hair then. Yeah. Look at that. You That's look like you were eighteen. I was probably twenty. Wow. That was wearing uh, that thing low. Right. I didn't know what I was doing back then. <laughs> the R two R three said his bass player has the same bass. Is that right? Yeah, I don't see too many of these. I think they made this version with this headstock for a year or two. Uh, yeah, Dave Nensel, when when did the first five strings start showing up? You know five that? string bases in general? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, well, they had six strings in the. I would strings. imagine. I would imagine the seventies. Someone had to have one, even if it was custom. 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 If it was custom, I would have cut them out. <laughs> custom auto. Well, they, they definitely had six strings before they had five strings. But that's the story of the Fender Bass 6, which Thrash Metal oh, yeah. was told about. That's right. That would have been like 1964. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Stan, I think that's what thrash metal plays. Dan Adams asked, "What's that strap behind me?" This is my. Oh, room. there you go. Sixties Japanese, Tisco, Tesco. Sorry. Bournemouth build. Thank you. Yes. Steve Anderson is here. Who decided to show up? What? 
Steve <gasps> made it. How I, did told, I sent him the same message. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. None of you guys get that except uh, <laughs> <laughs> operator error. It's a joke. Right, Steve, let's, let's start the show. There over. you are, man. All right, yeah. Start over. Do over. Start over. Can, can you hear us? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Because <laughs> we were floundering. We were going. What do we do? Yeah, right. <laughs> Talk about five string bases. It was really. No, we were. We were. <laughs> we were bombing. No, I'll, use the, I'll, I'll use the real thing. Don't worry about that. We were talking about bases. That, that's how <laughs> terrible. <it is. laughs> you know it's going down though, when he starts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had to go to, uh, I think it's called Google Chrome, and that's yeah. how I got in. So, regular yeah. Google. I couldn't get in, but I went to Google Chrome, and all of a sudden, I, here I am. There you so go. Nice. The a Google browser. The Google's have it. Yeah, yeah. You just, the Google's told, have it. You just told the computer you were just browsing. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Caleb, happy uh, birthday, Eastern, to you. Thanks very much. That's awesome. It's nice. And sorry about the faux pas that I said uh, spring and not fall. <laughs> no, it's, we figured yeah. out that that's actually... Uh, uh, Fender Guru celebrating the yeah, Southern Hemisphere. Oh, yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> Half the world is spring. Awesome. Uh, okay, guys. So, uh, from last week, we had mentioned uh, uh, your tw the 12 songs in your life from different <laughs> artists that have like inspired you, influenced you the most. D did any of you make a, a list of 12 songs? I made I a list of 50. Question. I thought we're on the ugliest uh, signature guitars. But that might have been two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. Yeah, that was last week. <laughs> Who won? Uh, the, 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 the guitar that people liked the least was uh, uh, Prince's, uh, I guess, what are the, the artist guitar, I guess it's called. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. I would have chose Brian May's uh, signature guitar. Uh, oh, yeah. Easy. Oh, come on. I love the Very red special. Guitar. Yeah, uh, Nightbot. Nice. Thanks, Nightbot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason Wade, thank you. <laughs> Discord bot. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Brian May's guitar is probably the ugliest guitar in the history of rock. Oh, rock. come on. Yeah. I love that it's guitar. One of them. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh. I just, uh... I, you wouldn't catch me dead with that thing. No, me neither. Brian May from Queen. John, Johnny's just full of them, man. Johnny's good. Yeah, yeah. he's got a he's got he full of one hit wonders tonight. <laughs> and the say? Wikipedia answers. He always gives the full Wikipedia answers. Well, uh, we yeah, have a little it, box, and should we just get to it? Well, I yeah. think we're, we're we, we not all of us can do it. It would take too long. What just one person's right? Yeah, I got something I can unbox. Yeah, go for it. Well, no, I thought we were talking about the 12, the, the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, uh, <laughs> the 12 artists. I can't believe you guys don't like Brian May's Red Special. God, it looks like of that guitar. Something oh. I was gonna say, I was gonna say Eddie Van Halen's guitar, the Frankenstein with the uh, with the uh, Starfleet neck on it. <laughs> <laughs> or with the white pick guard? No. Well, that's the other with the Frank with the star Strip. with the star neck on it. Right. The the the, the, uh, the uh, Dan Electro neck with the wings. Oh yeah. Go ahead, John Bale. What do you got for us? <laughs> well, Mr. Rappaport sent me something. Oh my God! All right. It's it my looks birthday. like it's a it's a my little birthday, more than John gets a present. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It looks like it's a little more than picks, so I'm no, anxious to see. This, he put like three thousand. Well, it's it's like Michael Anthony and his bass tech. I can feel something soft in there. I think there's a towel. That I know the guy who works for me. <laughs> All right, so hey, I guess. I'll... Sorry, I have, my... I have a feeling that you're on the right track, though. Well, 
I have a couple ideas. Let's Johnny, can it, you present? See what it is. God, or no? Are you away eating your hot dog? All right, dog? let me put the base down. Hang on, hang on. Hot Don't dog open in the hallway. Don't open it. Hang on. Sorry, I had a hot dog in my mouth. I bet you oh did. Oh, my God. Hang on. Right. Better than somewhere else. If you guys want to see it, go go over to the uh, the Discord. You can see it. No, thanks. All right. <laughs> There's a note, right? There's a note. Yeah. Oh, that's a Steve uh, Anderson uh, out of the Steve Anderson playbook. Dear John, and you and you you spelt my name right. All right. And <laughs> it seems only right that this particular poop shirt comes home. Best, Caleb. Oh, wait. Uh, nice oh, handwriting. I think I have an idea what Thanks. this might be. First of all, we got the Nerd Halen, Nerd Halen picks. Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Base. We got <laughs> five string. <laughs> Man, I was gonna wait till I met him. <laughs> yes. Caleb's the man. The best of Caleb, the best poop awesome, shirts. Man, that you did that. That <laughs> is awesome. I had I had just a feeling that. Oh my God! Go back to the guy who made the poop shirt. And, uh, respect, man. Caleb. Respect. Uh, you know, that's I'll my have... first Van Halen autograph. I've met a couple. I've met Dave and Sam, but that's my actual first autograph, and it's on absolutely the best, the best shirt from the best show. Find a good frame. Yeah, man, and and I'll put the uh, the laser disc right in there too. Nice, right on. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, man. And you can send me another one if you want. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? I, I have mine. I ha I've worn it once. I think I, the only time I wore it was on the show. It's all good. The only time you wore um, it was mowing the lawn and, you know. No, I mean, I, it's, it's not it really. Didn't wash you know. or anything, but I'll send it to you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's going to have to go in a frame, I think. Uh, and you actually saw it get signed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get I'll get one of those frames that can play like a video along with it, so it'll play the whole like meeting Michael Anthony and everything. Even though it wasn't me, that's awesome, you know. Here, I'll do that for you. Here you go. How's that? Nice. <laughs> I have to Caleb. one up that. I have to one up that one, John. Oh What's no! Uh -oh. I'm gonna get this signed by Eddie and send it to you. Oh. <laughs> that would be, man. Eddie Trump. In my dreams. In my dreams. Eddie Trunk. Yeah, Eddie Trunk. I don't care who signed <laughs> Ed, Ed, it. Eddie Furlong. <laughs> Caleb, that's uh, that's awesome, and uh, thanks a lot, man. It wasn't even – I, I was putting your pick package together, and I thought I should spice this up a little. And, uh, <laughs> this, this shirt's just sitting there, you know, so it really hasn't been moved. Yeah, man, I'll definitely send you uh, – And I'm never wearing it out, you know, so – yeah. I'll send you a, a, a nice brand new poop shirt. I have a couple left. Nice. Um, cool. You got but, this uh, too. Remember this one? Oh, crap. <laughs> That's what Caleb was just doing with the guitar. Yeah. You can't really see it. Oh, there it you here, go. But... Mikey. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's real cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it comes good. right back to me. I remember sending it out to you guys. Uh, it was the, the day that, well, at least the day that I sent out the first round of them, Johnny, Dave, and Jay. Uh, it was right after a huge snowstorm here, and we were out. We were without power for like three days. And uh, when I went to the post, or when I went to UPS, or wherever I went, you sent it from, uh, we still didn't have power, and I I had been like sleeping you know, in like 50 degree weather in my, in my house. But, uh, I can remember it very clearly. That was just, that was like, and, and getting all those packages together and, 
and you know kind of rushing to send it out but uh i was happy to do it and i'm johnny all you guys uh the show has been over the last year it's been just such a great addition to my regular routine you know friday nights tuesday nights whatever it may be um uh i just have it's so much fun you know my 16 year old self would have loved to have something like this where we can just talk about Van Halen, talk about guitars, talk about classic <laughs> rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Me too. Like 30 and years every, later, here we are. Yeah. And, and, and John, about the shirt. <laughs> if, if you love it, set it free. If it was meant to be, <laughs> it'll come back. It came back. It came back. It came back, definitely. Oh, it, by the way, anybody who wants to watch that signing, it is captured on Johnny Bean TV. Just Google or search on YouTube for the Michael Anthony show. Caleb, yeah. I, I've been watching a lot of... Uh... I'll put a card up. There'll be a card up in the uh, on the left right-hand corner of the screen once this video is done processing. Oh, and yeah. That'll be a card to that video. Pro- yeah, do, do a split screen of John holding it up and uh, the shot of me and Michael Anthony. Or just do a split. There we go. Do split. <laughs> Do Rothy and split. Sorry, Steve Anderson is requiring me to go get a rum, so I'll be right back. Steve, I didn't know you were going to be on, man, so. I know. <laughs> I'm going now. Rum, rum and Mountain Dew tonight. Oh, nice. I'm drinking Pacific. I need the caffeine. I need the what? Caffeine. Rum and Mountain Dew? Yep. Oof. I need the caffeine. What kind of rum? Uh, I don't know. It's a... It's not uh, Captain's or anything. It's like the, the name brand stuff. Well, Captain's not name brand? Well, no. It's like the lower brand than Captain. He went to Costco and the bottle just says rum. <laughs> <laughs> Is it clear? Is it spice? It's clear. <laughs> it's clear. Okay, yeah, because that's the only rum I could see Mountain Dew tasting good with. Is yeah. It would be like clear rum. It's just okay. basically a mixer, you know? Clear I'll be right back. <laughs> It's chlamydia rum. Oh, wow. Clamato. Anybody drink Clamato? No, I can't do it. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Caleb, it looks like you had a good jam last week with your drummer and your bass player. Yes. Awesome. Any uh, any uh, deep cuts we need to know about your jamming with? Uh, no, we've, we've got ten songs already, and uh, nothing really deep. I think. Uh, Maybe like beautiful girls might be the deepest cut. Little guitars. Right on. So deepest. Far. Deepest. <laughs> but it, was, it was crazy. I, I'd never played beautiful girls in my life like, with a band. Mm-hmm. Definitely not all the way through. And how so, was it? It was incredible. I mean, the, the bass player, this guy is, is so pro. Did you guys. Do you see that little Bossa Nova little guitars clip I put up? Yeah. Um, we, we were doing that because Victor, the bass player, was listening through his headphones to, to little guitars. It was the only song he didn't learn for the, for the rehearsal. We gave him five songs to learn. He didn't learn that one. He listened to it one time through and wrote out his chart. <laughs> and then we played it perfect. I mean, it, it's incredible. The guy, you know, he knows every little note. He was telling the drummer what to push and everything. It was, it's it's gonna be good. Yeah. Do you guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little game with Caleb. Do you guys play this one? Was was that sucker in a three piece? No. That? Running with the Nesdol? Yeah. Anybody ever notice in that recording that that his little chicka is the same throughout the whole song? Yeah. Oh yeah. It never changes. 
It's almost like it was Pro Tool, but it wasn't. Oh. Do you guys do this? Do you guys do this one? No. Beautiful girls. No, that's women in love. Oh, women in love. Okay. No, that would be deep. I always get those two mixed up. Yeah, we're not on the women in love yet. Uh, do you do this one? Well, that's that's definitely going to be one we're going to do. But we haven't done it. We haven't rehearsed it yet. So. Are you going to include the little mistake after the solo? <laughs> What? Where? Where he does this? He does. He kind of like does a. He he goes like a, a little sharp. Yeah, like it's a. This is one note. Yeah, that's what he does exactly. I'll I'll, I'll put that in for you. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve, what are you watching tonight? Uh, this is uh, Tesla from about 2008. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I've been a big Tesla fan. I love Tesla, definitely. Yeah, probably the five man acoustical jam album. I, mm -hmm. I, anything acoustic back then <coughs> in the 90s, I learned like everything, whether it was that or Eric Clapton or, yeah, it was, uh, just that time where we're all camping and taking acoustic guitars and playing for everybody. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I, yeah, I learned a lot of Tesla stuff. I really liked them. Was that, was that one of the things that uh, sparked MTV Unplugged? I or was it so. uh, like the Eric bon Jovi. Clapton or there was, yeah. was it Bon Jovi? I think yeah, so. that was the first one. That was okay. the first one that when they did Want a Day or Alive. Yeah. And I don't, I don't even know if it was called Unplugged. That was like this. Like the name, I think that they went with right like after that aired, there was like, all right, we got to do a series like this, mm -hmm. you know, and then, yeah, then they yeah. called, dubbed it, unplugged or whatever. But that's the story I heard at least. Yeah. Steve, yeah. cheers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I know I have a Tesla pick somewhere. Hey, Jay, we have the very... same one. Look at this. Not even planned. Oh, yeah. Not even planned. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, John. Cheers, Caleb. Cheers. Cheers. Johnny, buddy. cheers that hot dog. Cheers in that hot dog. He's probably already working oh, that. Yeah. Working that thing out. Does it go? Is this how it goes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm I'm standard, so you know. So am I. So am I. Oh, oh really? Uh, <laughs> so, so Jay, can you tell me some details about what you saw the hurricane wise? Like with your own eyes, not photos, but like where you were at your parents' place. What have you seen through the whole thing? I just saw wind and rain. Oh, okay. I saw, um, if you look out my parents' backyard, um, they have a fence and then there's a, a dirt kind of uh, back road. And then there's um, some properties and somebody is building a house, I don't know, a couple hundred yards away or something. Yeah. And they had just dug out for the foundation. Oh. And it's just all, you know. Filled. <laughs> so I was asking him, you know, because uh, he used to work for a survey company and everything. And he dealt with a lot of that stuff, you know, in the past. And I'm like, so who has to, who's responsible for, like, if they have to redo everything, who's responsible for it? He's like, well, the builder isn't going to, you know, oh. take responsibility for that. It's not his fault. Well, it's like, insurance. Some something. kind of insurance would have to take care of well, that's the thing he's like the homeowner or the you know they're they're the one responsible so if they have some but it's like an act of god thing where you know just sucks imagine getting a house built and they start digging the foundation surveying yeah. everything and next thing you know a hurricane comes rolling through and washes everything away i got a question for you jay uh when you were leaving what did you do with your stuff like did you just leave it as is or did no. you 
No, you said you, you protected everything, right? Plastic. Yeah, I, I took this guitar with me with my little practice amp because I knew by the time we left, like I knew it wasn't going to be that bad, but I was worried about like, you know, maybe the roof coming off, you know, roof blows off, roof leak something. So I took all my computer, my computer, all my um, like Pro Tools, hard drives and any external drives, put them in bags, put them in a bin, right? Bin. Bin. I took, I took all, the, all my guitar cases with the guitars in them and put them in hefty bags. Wow. Um, and then, like, you know, just for the most part, that's pretty much I put a bag and stuff over Hefty Bay. Hefty Bay. Bay. The alien. Oh, yeah, over that. Now, the alien was fine. I think he protected the house. But, um, yeah, let's put it over the, the amp and the, uh, the heads over there and stuff. But, like I said, I knew by the time we split. Um, but you were like, doing, were you doing like math on time? Like, how long is it going to take me to, to get all this stuff put yeah. away? And, do I have I'm that? terrible with math. Wow. But I talked but, to my buddy who's an insurance uh, insurance agent, and I was like, "Dude, what do I have? Do I have to like write down all the serial numbers for all my stuff?" He's like, "No, you just go around, take pictures of all your gear, and then email it to yourself. You know, so you have it." I'm like, "So wait a second. In this day and age with Photoshop, you tell me I can take a picture of my guitar <laughs> rack." And, yeah. and turn that universe into Steve Eyes' universe. <laughs> right, put Frankenstein on there. Yeah, he's like, dude, you'll go to jail then. I'm like, I was joking. But he instantly <laughs> turned from like, you know, one of my best friends into a, uh, an insurance agent. It was just so funny. <laughs> well, did you guys? Did you guys see the whole uh, Nashville? I think it was Nashville flood. Uh, all those musicians that had stored their instruments somewhere near the Mississippi in Nashville, or. or I, th I think it was Nashville, and they all lost tons of. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Frank, I, I saw. I was watching uh, Peter Frampton. I think it was uh, his rig rundown on Premier Guitar, and uh, he talks about the guitars that he lost, some of his classic guitars, and and so many other musicians. Ben uh, Skill lost the most, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the musicians that would come to the East Coast, or probably down the you know the Southeast Coast, would store like their temporary gear there or, or their rather than fly it out they'd, they'd store their gear there and whenever they'd play that area they'd uh they'd take what they wanted but uh it was all stored below the level of the mississippi river i think it was nashville yeah and, yeah it's nashville and there's, yeah. a, there's a big storage space for, there's a musician storage space there that all the you know uh celebrity musicians use yep not anymore. Man. Well, didn't Sebastian Bach lose, like... Oh, yeah. All his kids stuff. stuff. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Buttload of stuff, man. Because I think he had, a, he had a house, like, or his house is or was right on the right. Jersey Shore or something. No, it was right next to a dam. <laughs> oh, damn. It was next to a goddamn. It was next to, a, like, a, a containment <laughs> area, and it, it overflowed. <laughs> Man, so he lost some, a lot of stuff. River through his house. He lost a lot of Kiss memorabilia, didn't he? Right. Yeah. That was like the main thing, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. First yeah, time so I Steve, to answer your original question, um, yes, sir. You know, like I said, it was just windy and rainy. Is basically, you know, the majority of what I saw. Yeah, yeah. So, so Jeannie and Ellie weren't freaking out at any point. <laughs> no. No, I mean my parents have a generator, so that's why we went there. If if we had a generator here, we probably would have stayed. You know, they're yeah. they're 15 minutes more inland, so yeah. No, because uh, but... I thought you were gonna head uh, like to northern Florida somewhere, and then Dave told me that no, he's only like 75 miles away. Mm -hmm. Dude, we we were we were oh, we seven... woke up. We woke up. I think it was Thursday morning. Was it Thursday morning? Whatever the hell morning it was. We woke up at 4.30 a.m. and we were about to pack the car to go to Orlando. And then that's when we heard like the 5 o'clock update came up and it was like, oh, it's died down a lot and it's going to do this and that. So that's why we're like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Let's not take a vacation. Because <laughs> the main thing we were worried about is if we go to Orlando or something, how long is it going to take us to get back? Because that's what everybody does, you know? Hurricane comes, everybody leaves. Next thing you know, it takes you four days to get home. So, 
Yeah, yeah. Hey, David Ennis is in the house. Doing good, uh, David. Doing good. <laughs> awesome. We got, uh, what do we got? 36 watching, 22 thumbs ups. Jimmy T, Douglas Bedore, Zach Thong, Soda Pop, Dutchie 5150. Awesome, guys. Good to see you all again. Stan Adams. Cool. Stan. Yeah. Talking about your favorite uh, unplugged albums. Oh, yeah. Queensryche. Let's go. Let's go around the around the room here. Queensryche. Queensryche. Trying to think of the better really? ones that I remember. I like the Alice in Chains one. Alice in Chains, definitely. Yep. And Nirvana was great. Nirvana was a great one. Um, well, Kurt Cobain broke the rules on that uh, unplugged. We had a distortion. Didn't play any hits. Yep. <laughs> didn't put, yeah, he didn't play their, their major hit. Yeah, he used the distortion pedal and hit the wrong note. <laughs> a, lot, a few <laughs> wrong <laughs> notes. He went a back. few wrong notes, but but more and more, I, I appreciate Kurt Cobain. You know, he, he it, you watch the live stuff, and uh, he's you, you think that Nirvana was just like a punk band, but or a lot of people think that they were just a punk band, but. You know, I there was a that, lot. Of, there was a lot behind that. I think he got it right when he put the shotgun in his mouth. Whoa. Damn! Wow! I had to say, it. just kidding. Beautiful day. Yeah, Beautiful. that was. It, it was. It was definitely necessary. Well, speaking well, speaking of Nirvana, um, I'm just kidding. If if anybody watches those classic album videos, yeah. the VH1 classic albums, I think they're called. Yep. The Nirvana one on Nevermind is really really good they yeah it's a lot of it's the interview with butch fig who produced the record and sound city too covers it a lot have you, jay have you seen sound city I, yes i was mentioning it to, to johnny a few a uh, few weeks ago but uh yeah it made I, me i, I watched watched it even more a few, a few weeks ago i yeah, remember when they were excellent. making that i remember when they were making that movie yeah <laughs> johnny has the 1984 guitar out that i think dave gave a set to him <laughs> Huh? Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Awesome. Look at that. He's got all the Caleb picks on it. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look, they're, yeah, they're all right there. What was for dinner, Johnny? <laughs> what? Well, what were you eating, Johnny? For dinner? It's, if you want to see it, you're going to have to go to the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. And, nice. uh,. I, where I, I is my mouse turned off? Dang it! Um, Caleb, is that logo for Nerd Halen and NH, or is that the the VH logo on your picture? It's an NH. Okay, I can't see that clearly. Yeah, don't, don't get him sued. Too small. Now. Don't, don't don't get Caleb sued. Yeah, it's an NH. Get a thief in the fifth order in the mail. I need to find it. How much is Sen Van Halen a cease and desist for stealing a Jimi Hendrix logo? Oh, mm. yeah, yeah, when you guys showed me it that. Really oh. It really is. It really is. Yup. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, 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 snap into it. <clears throat> I just call it how I see it. I don't care. I love the band. I'll, I'll tell him that he stole stuff. <laughs> I'll tell him that he stole stuff. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Look. Uh, Look! Look what I'm gonna have right here, man. Nerds, right there. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I have to incorporate that. Yeah. There's, there's the uh, Jimi <laughs> Hendrix poster. Yeah. Nobody, if you guys haven't seen it, it's the uh, that is not a Van Halen logo. That's J H. Wow. How did they get away with it? He was dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In fact, everybody involved was dead. Did anybody really? I hate to say, it, did anybody really care about Hendrix in the late seventies, or uh, did he? Was, I know, I mean, yes, geez, I know, but I didn't know if he was a little bit forgotten well, by that point, and then resurgence in the eighties. Well, I mean, if you're going to be the next Hendrix, you might not want to steal his logo. Well, <laughs> Dodgy hey, Fifty One Fifty says that that Hendrix logo came out in nineteen eighty in a German box set. So, what, what's the truth here, boys? That's not what an old monk's saying. Yeah. The Noel Monk book, he, he he it was given to him like you know, on the se in the seventy eight tour or something, and he put it away and then opened it up later. 
uh, when he went to clean out like his office. Oh, hold on here. The logo on the Jimi Hendrix poster that turned up in a box. Okay, not a box set. A box of the band's things from Marshall Burrell's office yes. after he was let go. Similarities are obvious, yeah. I thought it said box set. I was like, oh. Great book. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, I got to reread that myself. Yeah. I just, uh, I've mentioned it before, but just how uh, badly, like Michael Anthony was being cut out of stuff even during mm -hmm. uh, like 1984 album. <laughs> well, yeah. That well, I really was saying that I had listened to, I was listening to Diver Down earlier, and there's, I mean, there's a bass track, but there's nothing out. I mean, there's no bottom to it. It's, you know, well, yeah, Van Halen keep... was always that way. It, you couldn't uh, hear the And the earlier, the no. first, the first four albums, uh, Mike sounds great, I think, you know? Oh, yeah. Happy He's birthday. well represented. Mountain. Mountain time. Happy birthday to Caleb. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, John Biel, any more updates on your Diver Down uh, video you're doing? Uh, like, like I said, I've just compiling as much footage as I can find. Um, yeah. I guess what was uh, you know what I you know what I could use, and I was thinking about this. Um, everybody in the chat, I mean, all these people, all you guys are from all over the world, literally. <laughs> I'd love to get uh, footage of your local arena. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> footage from outside, yeah, you know, from any of the arenas that they played on '82, '83 tour. Oh. Just a drive-by. If you could get inside footage, anything yeah. like that, I'd love to add it to the to the film. Yeah, mine was um, the year. Mine was the album before. No, oh, two albums before the mm -hmm. 1980 Women and Children First tour started in my town, Victoria, and the arena has been uh, destroyed. <laughs> And uh, is is a different arena now. So well, I, even if you can get news clippings or anything, in in Johnny, we could put, you know, a Discord link in there for you know the hide your sheep uh, project, or even just a, you know a general show your town, show your arena, that sort of thing. Because all of us have have something local within. A half hour of not me. Of, of work. No, no. I'd have to drive four and a half hours to. Uh, well, I'm not asking. Charlotte. If, if, if you can't North make it, Carolina. If you can't, if you How can't far is Jacksonville? There, Jacksonville. Oh crap! I think that's. Uh... What about Greenville? Actually, Jacksonville Greensboro. might be about Jacksonville's five Green... hours away. Greenville, Greenville. Sorry, Greensboro it's... or Greensville? Greenville. Greenville, Greenville where the airport is. Greenville, Sparta. Yeah, it's four hours away. Well, either way, I've I, I'm going to certainly give myself a year to do this or six months anyway. I need yeah. a good vacation where I can sit down and work on it for a few days in a row, not these two day weekends. But uh, yeah, you'd think there'd be something else other than like the US Festival and uh, what else do we have? The the show. There's a ton. Washington. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. That that tour, the Hide Your Sheep tour, the Diver Down tour. The best part of it is the South America. There was at least, I think, three or four shows that were fully filmed. Yeah. And then Largo. What, does anybody know from what, and why, Montreal. why they were flipped on one show? Why Eddie was stage right? Does anybody know that? To this show, day? Which show was that? There's a show on the South American tour where they flipped sides. Well, let's find it. And you could, I mean, you can tell because his back line is on the is on stage right. Mm -hmm. It might have been actually a couple shows. Was it was it a, a reversal of the of the video or no? No, it was an no. actual. I'm betting. It's... I'm betting it had to do with uh, which one would you say it was? I know there's a bunch of Brazil shows. It's one of the one of those pro shot. Uh, I think it was um... a power issue. Yeah, and I'm just uh, I'm to, Ur Uruguay. That it was, was like the least, the least. Um, no, it was uh, the, the smallest crowd anyway. Caracas, Venezuela. Caracas, Caracas. That's the one. Let's, let's take a look. Oh, Venezuela. 
Yeah. I don't think it was Caracas, unless there was a couple. It's it's one that's that's been out there forever. And I know Caracas hasn't been out there forever because I had the audio for that as a kid and finally saw a video of it like, oh, hey, Howie. It's oh, Caracas. He, he Ed is water. on the, the stage left. Normal. Mm, then maybe it's it was just, Bu Buenos Aires. Let's see. It's not Buenos Aires. <laughs> Argentina. Sao Paulo, oh. Brazil. Sao Paulo is another one. Let's check Sao Paulo. Oh. Thanks, everybody, for the birthday wishes. Yeah, yeah. This one that. has some, some good quality footage. And Zach, I don't know how the Kings are going to do this year. Uh, I'm not impressed yet. So <laughs> let's just leave, uh, let's leave it there. And Mike is himself. Uh, says, I've never seen Live Without a Net. Going to order a Blu-ray soon. Hey, man, Michael has himself life-changing right here from this cup. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Not so Paulo. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do the double, <laughs> dude. That is hands down, like that's that might be like on that tour. That might be like the best like live song that they've ever done. It was just so <laughs> that fun riff, and so that so riff awesome. is badass. Mm -hmm. The first time I heard it, I thought it was a new Van Halen song. I didn't realize it was even Sammy Hagar. Yeah, it's <laughs> what? Well, yeah, and even Van Halen totally Van Halen that song. There it is. That would be Buenos Aires, Argentina. Argentina. Oh, yeah. Buenos Aires. Wow. That's a good well, point. At least, at least right he's there. standing there. Is his, are his cabs on the wrong side? You can, you'll be able to tell. I can see the mic stand. There's no pedal board for Mike. So, yeah. Yeah, pedal board's over there. Or is the video reversed? How could their, their guitars are right-handed? You'd be left-handed. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see those cabs on the wrong side. Thank you, Nightbot. Wow, that's a good, uh, it's a pretty good video. I haven't watched that in a while. That's the one where they do beer drinkers, right? ZZ Top. And they do, uh, since my baby left me. They do Elvis, too. <laughs> they're doing that the whole time. Were they do? Did they do that the whole tour? I don't remember. Maybe they that was one of the shows. Blue. Maybe that was one of the shows where Eddie had some bad clams, and that's the side of the <laughs> stage the bathroom was on, or something. Maybe it was one of those things where they were in the southern hemisphere. Jeez, like, I can't friends. find a shot. Well, it watches the, the opposite way. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I gotta be on stage, right, man? God, I'd love to get an answer to that. Yep. Hey, Caleb, our friend Jason Wade is asking if you have a store or a website with merchandise. He might be wanting some pics. <laughs> no, but uh, I really want to get the, the Nerd Halen shirts going really soon. And, uh, yeah. And when I do send those out for purchase, I will send pics with those. So you got to put a pocket protector outline. Yeah, on the shirt, man. That'd be so funny. Pocket <laughs> protector with you, with a with a silhouette of you jumping off of it. <laughs> See, great ideas breed great ideas. A pocket See? protector with um, where you can put your where you can put your whammy bars. Yeah, well, I, I did make one a, a mock up with uh, with uh, some some pens coming out of the pocket protector, and then some guitar necks with the headstocks. All the all the Eddie headstocks over the years. So. Oh, there you go. I was talking a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, Angelo. Fender Guru said the reason why Eddie chose that side of the stage is because that's where the hot chicks were. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling in Buenos Aires they were everywhere. Yeah. Well, what are the stats from that show? What, what did they play? <laughs> So you guys figured Where? it out? You figured out which show it was? Yeah, it's... Uh, what Buenos Aires. Argentina. Buenos Aires, uh, 211, so um, February maybe 11th. I, maybe, maybe I can uh, message Noel Monk to find out. You think he'll remember? 
I don't know. He's weird. So I don't know. Are you oh. friends with Noel? I'm not friends with him, but I could definitely send him a message. I've messaged him. Let's uh, let me just see. Well, and yeah, he they describe they oh, describe okay. the the South American tour in detail with, in Noel's book. Yeah, um, but they leave that out. Find it. <laughs> Stack it might be part of it. There was there was a couple shows that they had a lot of problems with on that uh, tour. Problems meaning what? Uh, technical problems and problems with security and problems with. Uh, what did we say it was? Sao Paulo. Because I could see Eddie, you know, kind of uh, blowing a fuse that he had to be on a different side. Because I wouldn't want to be on a different side of the stage either. And he felt yeah, I mean, that would be very odd for a, for a guitar player to do that. Yeah. There were so, a couple times where I had to stand on, on the opposite side of the stage, and it just, it just doesn't feel right, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. The arena is a 10,000-seat arena. <clears throat> for uh, me? The reason why, let's say, let's say if I'm in a band and I'm, I'm, I don't quite know the songs yet, I'd rather be on the, uh, on the left side. No, I'd rather stage be on the right side. Right. Stage right. I'd rather be on the right side because I can look over and see what fret the other guy's oh, there is on at the time. Hmm. I've done that before years ago. I was in a band and I was new and right away had to play shows and all this and i was able to look over and see where, where he was while i was playing so it was it was very helpful if you're on the opposite side you can't see what they're doing you know it's a good point but i doubt that eddie van halen didn't know what van halen song <laughs> yeah he was looking at mike this mike what fret <laughs> <laughs> yeah. debunked now the issue but i do see your point i do see you're playing on the opposite side a couple times because uh I was on stage right by myself, and the other guitar player and bass player were on stage left. So there'd be a few shows where there, there was literally no room, um, you know, on one side or something. So if that side where there was, wasn't any room, they had to go to the bigger side, and I'd have to take the smaller side. <laughs> I remember seeing... Um... Uh, what's the band that Neil Sean was in in the nineties? He was in Journey. A, no. <laughs> you know, he had a he had a band with uh, with Hagar. He was a uh, no, H not H S H Hagar Sean. A different Hagar different Sean. band. It was it. Uh, damn, what was the name? What you mean with um with John Waite? It's a bad English. No, not bad English. It was another band. Neil Sean. Lasted. Yeah, we'll he did two records. I can't remember the name of it. New Journey? No, it's not Journey. Not New Journey. No. <laughs> Hardline. Hardline. That's New it. Journey. Yeah, I went and saw. I saw Hardline, and uh, Neil Sean had like twelve cabinets. Hardline. He took, he took more than half the stage for himself, and the drummer, keyboard player, and bass player were stuffed in the corner of the stage. <laughs> And he had 12 cabinets on the side. See, that's oh. one of those, those shows you get to and be like, yo, Neil, we only <laughs> have room for uh, 10 of them, you know? No, they no. don't. Man. It was, and it wasn't, a big, it wasn't a, a big arena or anything. It was After a, working it was in a, a small club. club. It was a, a, a local New York rock club that, like, the rest of us would play at. Bands do not compromise. Yeah. Yeah, Hot Sherry was was their biggest hit. Yes, Neil well, Sean. My, no, my, my Sherry, my Sherry, hot, hot. You getting me hot, Sherry? That's that it. was him. Yeah. Holy smokes! I never knew that. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. But also, Our welcome, welcome, Pooh Ninja, to the Discord. Hey, welcome. I'm just gonna. It just goes to show that the sound machine is sharp, because because Jay, yours is flat to us, but that's actually 440, because that's yeah. what Actually, mine's a little, you know. It's super close though. Your batteries <laughs> are too charged. <laughs> All right, so 
there seems to be a whole write up in the in the Noel Monk book about. I'm trying to see if it is Sao Paulo. It's about <laughs> on the South American tour. And what does it say? There's the quote. We hit 115 decibels, no reaction from the generals. Then 120, still no response. They were trying to test the, the limits of the building itself. Uh, I don't know if this was Sao Paulo or not, though. I'm trying to fi figure that out. But there's a whole write-up about the South American tour. Yeah, but only us nerds would really care why Eddie had to be on the other side of the stage. Well, I'm, I'm trying to see if there's an answer. Mm -hmm. Huge well, cylindro. Yeah, I, I would have remembered if, if I read an answer in there. So. Yeah, cylindro municipal. So that's not uh, that's not Sao Paulo. Montevideo, Montevideo Uruguay. I, I would say it would have to do with, with either the sound. Or power. With the sound or or power, it has to be, it has to be something that has to, ha, there has to be a logical ex, explanation for it, you know. Yeah. From that's Uruguay, the only, that's the only reason. Because dur during that show, I mean, he they go back and forth, so it's not like he's stuck right Maybe there. Maybe it was the like a smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jason Jason Wade says, Dave Neslo, can I send you a pic of a guitar and you tell me its story per se? Uh, where it stands as far as EVH legacy. Yeah, absolutely. Send me the picture. <laughs> cool. And hopefully yeah. I can answer it. Hopefully I can give you an educated answer. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll I send, just lie to you. I send, <laughs> I send them that, that question. So might what? not get it tonight, but if we get an answer, I'll have, uh, I'll have Johnny put it up on the site or whatever. Well, Discord. Yeah. Also... Ask him if he wants to come on the show. I've I've tried that. <laughs> we'll do it. Dave was blocked instantly. <laughs> um, we will not do it. Dutchy Dutchy fifty one fifty posted a picture in the Discord of the uh, here's here's a photo of the nineteen eighty Jimi Hendrix box set from Germany, where the Halen Hendrix logo came from. Jimmy's people borrowed it from Van Halen. Not the other way around. That's what he's saying. So was Noel trying to just what was yeah. right there. That's then a, it's a blatant lie from Noel. Picture he just sent. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. At one Venezuelan show, Edward played the entire evening from stage right, the spot normally held by Michael Anthony for the first and only time in the band's history. And that's about all it says. <laughs> oh, what a what a that up. <laughs> nice tease. Oh man, man, you we were, you were so close to, to one of those. Dave man. played a song entitled "Ode to Argentina," unaccompanied on acoustic and electric. It is unknown whether the song blah blah blah. Sorry, it's like it's like undoing the zipper and then <laughs> hands off. You just well, they so, recognized it, but. They still don't have an explanation. So, so uh, Jason Wade wants to know the origin of this guitar right here, this wolf guy. Oh, that's isn't that the one he has in, on the water in the ocean? No, this 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 is the guitar that he used. Oh, that was an Ernie Ball on the Japanese leg of the uh, 1998 tour. It's the guitar that Mully is holding. Got it. Um, he used it towards the end of the tour, and it became his main guitar for 1998 uh, or 99 or in that in there there uh, and then I guess in 2004 when he did his solo spot Wolfgang came out with the guitar and played the rhythm guitar to 316 while Eddie uh, using that guitar yeah I, I remember Wolfie coming out with a striped guitar it was that guitar is that the actual guitar or no, is that, no, is that this is just a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> or is that your bed? <laughs> it's a copy of it. No, no, not my bed. It's, 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 this, this guitar is on sale, I guess, on Reverb for uh, 679 Jason Wade wants to know if that's a good price because if it is, it's mine. Yeah, that's a good price. And it's a, it's a pretty good replica of it. Stripes are almost all there. 
I mean, they're there. It's not exact, but it's pretty damn close. Can they, they not, can they sell those? I don't know what the back looks like. You know, it doesn't show. Is it based on the hard rock guitar? No, it's based. It's just. It's the only one that's had. It, it. It's the only one that looks like that. There's a. There's a picture of the back. Yeah. Not. The, a, not. A, not the back of this one. This particular. Yeah. Yeah. There's a picture of the, remember, Steve Anderson. Well, he didn't remember that, send it to me. Remember yeah. that magazine you had with the yeah, photo okay. where okay. Metallica was photoshopped yeah, together? I'm not talking about the original guitar. I'm talking about the one here for sale. There's no mm -hmm. picture in the back of this guitar. Not not Eddie's. I know the I know that there's pictures of the back because mine has it. Is it past your bedtime? <laughs> no, I want to hear you guys argue a little more. This is awesome. <laughs> by, by coastal spat. <laughs> I think he needs another hot dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See, you're supposed to you're supposed to argue during that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tensions up, man. What'd you say about my hot dog? <laughs> I, I, I don't say anything about your hot dog. I think you should be eating another one. Mm -hmm. I just had one. And that's just a polite way of saying it. The picture is in the Discord. I think you need to eat a whole bag of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a whole Could you imagine? I don't know how those uh, that's hot dog no. eat, that's, I mean, if I eat two oh hot my God. dogs. Yeah, when I say hot dog, I don't really mean hot dog, though. Oh. <laughs> I Freddy hate those videos. Says, Any word on Wolfgang's release? No, not at all. Nope. nope, which means they're waiting for something. Yep. Completely agree. You you think uh, something anniversary related? Yes. Really? Gotta be. I'm losing hope. Stan not... Adams, good night, man. He said he's crashing. Roth, Roth said it himself that there's Van Halen stuff in the works. Like last week. Yeah, when he played that thing. Oh, I got a story. I, I met Toshi last uh, on Tuesday night. Toshi. Who the hell is that? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I recognize I the name. Toshi. He's the guitar player for the Jimmy Kimmel band. Oh. And he backed up Dave the last or a week and a half ago uh, at that benefit that he showed up at. Hmm. Anyone see the video? Mm -hmm. I saw the I saw a couple pictures from it. Doesn't, doesn't he look? He looks like a bad guy in a Batman movie. Dude, he... the white short hair. <laughs> Pretty scary. But uh, but to yeah, Tochi played with him also when they did like a backyard party, like a couple years ago. Toshi's from Amer American Dad. That's where I remember from. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so if anybody he... out there. <laughs> Sorry, if anybody out there is going to buy that replica, here's what the back of that's supposed to look like. It's upside down, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Look out. You that's what he's, now. he's about to throw his guitar in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He'll have it right. Oh. Really? Of course. Uh, of course I have. Of course he's got it right. Let's see it. Jay, is that the same as yours? Yours is different, right? Not well, painted on the back? This is the PV Wolf guy. Yeah. This is a PV Wolf guy. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, Jay's is a, is a Frankenstein. Yeah. Well, based off of, yeah. So anyway, We're... Um, this guy who's in the Jimmy Kimmel band, who's played with Dave a few times, told me that... Should you uh, not be saying this? Should you not be saying who told you? I don't think. I think it's cool. Okay. Well, then it's cool. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble. I don't <laughs> think it, no, I think it's kind of it's kind of funny actually. That, uh, they did this show on a Saturday night. They did a rehearsal at, at in the room at the Beverly Hilton on a Thursday, and I think on Tuesday they uh, they met for like a. a an equipment check. Dave wanted to see Toshi's rig and hear it to inspect its tone. 
and they and they met at SIR, which is the, the famous you know rehearsal space here in Los Angeles, and and he said, bring your you know bring whatever uh, heads that you have that you think are the closest. So Toshi brought two separate martial heads that he has, and Dave had three other ones set up, and they he had him play through all five of them to pick one of them for the for the gig. To, to play really got me Panama and jump. And, oh. But he, 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 you know, he, he obviously did what Dave wanted, but he was like, you know, that's... Why is Dave playing Van Halen with non-Van Halen people? Because they, they did, well, he did like Beautiful, uh, California Girls too. He just did a, like a five song set. For this, oh, okay, you know, it was just for this for, for this for benefit, a benefit or, yeah, for okay. like a, a you know Robert Shapiro from the OJ trial. Yeah, his kid OD'd and and he has a foundation for you know addiction, mm -hmm. and that was their big fundraiser. And I think Dave played it a year or two ago with this with the the, the Kimmel band, and so they did it again this time. But Toshi told me that he, he Dave inspected his. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Thumbnail. Um, you got that, Amanda? What was that? <laughs> so, so anyway. Caleb, the reason I asked you, if, is, is it okay if you say this? Yeah. Is I thought you were going to say that, yeah, Toshi said that, you know, they were going on tour in three months and new albums coming out. And just, you know, like I, no, I, don't think, gonna, like, I, I think I would have told you guys before we went on air at that point. <laughs> Yeah, but keep it to yourselves. Yeah. This is uh, you told me. This is for this is for our buddy Quentin James. He wanted to know one of the Charvel art series ads back in like uh, 2004, 2005. Yes. This is, this is one of the ads, and like Caleb has always said, how the bumblebee kind of jumps out out of all three of those. <laughs> Um, and that was certainly the same for me, and that's why I ordered mine like right away as soon as I saw this. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Steve looked at that and was like, "Oh yeah." So did I. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> I remember playing that art series for the first time, and it was a Bumblebee one. Oh yeah. And uh, I was just like, I had to have it, and I ended up getting a red one. Yeah, because so I was. Uh, I, w I was in contact. I was in contact. I can't remember the guy's name. Dave probably knows him. The, the guy in Las Vegas who used to build replicas. Um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can't remember his name. I had contact him? with the guy. He was going to build me a Bumblebee and find all the parts, and it was going to take a couple of years to do it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, uh, Roman. Ed Roman. Yeah, Ed Roman. Ed yeah. Roman, yeah. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, well, wow, we can get these striped guitars. So that was the first time I ever saw uh, those striped guitars being actually uh, available, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. The the art series Charvels, man. I, I I had one and I got rid of it, but I missed that neck. Oh yeah, yeah. Fantastic playing guitar. <laughs> but this is very similar. Oh yeah, yeah. The music craft ones are really close. Okay, Caleb, any responses uh, singer-wise for you guys this week? Any updates? Oh, you know what's funny is I'm I'm getting I'm getting calls like or oh, you are? people are people are like starting to you know inquire. So. Okay, any has anyone sent you any uh, like video of them singing at all or? Yes. Oh, okay, and <laughs> <laughs> not so much. <laughs> you haven't found anyone yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just press the buttons on that app. That's all you. So got basically, you're telling me today's David Lee Roth sounds better than the singers that have contacted you. Yeah, it's uh, we're not we're not there yet. Okay. But I, I am I'm interested in someone, and and uh, I just gotta okay. I gotta get that guy in the room with us, and then I think we can we can sell him. So. Wow. Well, if he shows up wearing a jock strap outside of his spandex, you found your man. Yeah. Or just the jock strap. 
or just chapless yeah. <laughs> chaps. You're in chapless. Yeah. Yep. He comes in chapless. It's welcome. And if he comes in with a uh, a blue or red popper stopper on top of his microphone, <laughs> that's key. That that is key. If you get a guy, or when you get a guy, if he shows up with just a sure SM58, you know you you got to put the 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 blue or red popper stopper. The clown on nose on it. Huh? Put the clown nose. Yeah, on the it. clown nose popper stopper on top of it. <laughs> hey, uh, Dave, can I ask you about uh, the guitar hanging on your wall? It's to the right of the EV8 sign. It's kind of a natural wood. I you can ask me. Uh, uh, what Go guitar ahead and ask. Is I have. It, I don't know what that one is. It's called a Nags Kanai, and it's actually for sale. It's a brand spanking new guitar. Oh, uh, I'm selling it for a friend of mine who's a Nags dealer. Oh, it's fully warranted, and it's four thousand dollars. Wow. What's, it's what's a the, great, what's great the, guitar. What What's the history of that uh, brand name, Nags? What is that? Joe Nags uh, started the uh, the Paul Reed Smith, uh, um, like their custom shop. They they call it uh, the Private Stock. Oh, okay. Uh, and when he left there, he started his own company called Nags, and it's they're, they're just high, high quality guitars. They're amazing. Right, right. That's a fixed bridge. On yeah, it? yeah. Cool. Steve yeah, there's, Stevens. There's... Steve Stevens with Nags, and he, I think, they're about to launch his uh, signature model. If well, I'm not mistaken. They've had his signature model forever. They started with his signature model. They just started a new signature model, a Severn with a Floyd on it for him. That's but, that's what I saw with the purple. Uh... His his signature model looks very much like that. It's okay. Like more less Paul like. I just didn't know if it was like a if they had them to buy. Before oh yeah, this. Okay. absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know Larry Mitchell has his own model as well. He's mm -hmm. a, he's, he's uh, him and Steve Stevens are two. Uh, I don't know how many endorsees they have, but those are the two major endorsees. Yeah, right on. And I haven't heard every 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 a, a bit of feedback I've heard on Nags guitars. Everybody that's played them that I've heard says they are just unbelievable, unbelievable guitars. Yeah. Well, there's uh, Quentin James, and we have Bark Eater in the house. Hey, man. <laughs> Bark Eater. Hello, Bark. <laughs> Roof. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Fender Guru, if you go back two videos, Good night, Janice. You'll, you'll see you I I I have lots of close-ups and I show that guitar off. Uh, it's really late at night here. I, I don't want to wake anyone up by by going there and making noise to, to just even get it. So. I don't want to take a chance of falling and making a big racket. Falling and having everybody laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, Good night, Janice. Janice. Good night, Janice. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy T said that years ago I had tendonitis in my right wrist for about three months. Thanks, thanks, Pro Tools. You know what? I got one of these little things in front of my mouse, and it because I, I have the same thing. Like that's what happened to me. You know, you're sitting there for hours <laughs> and hours with your wrist like this. Yep, terrible. And it just it kills you. So on uh, Amazon. One of these little bad boys, and I'm telling you, I have, you know, occasionally it hurts, like doing other things. Yeah, yeah. but um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but on this, on a uh, computer, it, it helps out. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Everybody's got a sound machine. Everybody's got a guitar plugged in. <laughs> I actually went to Target today. I should have looked for the sound machine. Oh man, mm -hmm. where is it in the like the toy section or the? They have them. They're right next to the uh, the cards. Yeah, you know, the birthday cards. The oh really? All the cards right next to the card section. There's a little novelty. Uh, 
uh, gimmick section, and that's where it is. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) Still trying to find the the reason for the stage right. (laughs) It's going to drive you nuts. I know. Next week we'll get an answer. (laughs) It'll be a lie because there's no answer. Yeah. There's a lot of hints. The news desk did a whole piece on uh, the Sao Paulo show. Some guy who had hung out with Eddie and drank with Eddie and felt that he was way too wasted to to, to do his show that night. (laughs) Among other things, you know. Was it the guy in the video at the beginning of the video? Hey, the, the guy that, it. yeah, it the guy was, that does the uh, thumbs up. That's the guy, right? Uh, a day without Eddie Van Halen in Rio. There's one of those. Is it the Sao Paulo? Has one of his solos? Well, is that's Rio, amazing. I guess. But uh, it does say that the Sao Paulo and Rio concerts. I think the a Sao Paulo. Na- a dude named Bolivia. Bolivia Newton John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brazilian journalist Luiz Antonio Mello. Yeah, there's a great story on the, on the news desk if you look up the '83 tour. Cool. Hmm. You know what else it could have been? I'm just now thinking of this, seeing that video in the background. It could have been they were filming a video, and it was the it was the best. Best footage of, of Edward. Oh no! On that side, because did no. you see that? What? Like like where the cameras were set up, you know? He moved Why around. Would they, and they switch microphones a lot. Like you could. They would ad- they would adjust the cameras to the to the stage, not the stage to the cameras. I mean, I've seen tons of videos where where Michael's singing on Edward's microphone. But his cabs are on the are on stage right. Right. So that's why yeah. it's like. It's not really mm-hmm. that strange for them to be on different sides, but the cabinet, yeah, why was it set up reverse? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got That's questions. Why- Van Halen forensics. So, so, why- soda pop, I thought you were trying to uh, rest your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave, you got a question there again from Jason Wade? Yeah, Jason wants to know uh, the net comparison between his current 2018 Wolfgang special and the PV Wolfgang special. Well, those PV Wolfgang specials were all made in America, and they're all a little bit different, but generally they're a little bit fatter than the uh, than the new ones. Huh. Yeah, you know the only. The only special necks I've played that are from Mexico are the that I'm impressed with are the ones I played at Nam. Everything I've tried in the store, I've been uh, disappointed. In, as far as the Mexican necks in a store, and obviously the special that I just got is the Japan one, and that neck is insane. Well, yeah. I, I still love that the the Stripe series one that I have. You know, I think it's I think it feels great. <laughs> I'll tell you, this Mexican strat neck is not holding up. <laughs> what, what is that? that? Boomerang right it's, now? It's spreading out from the from the the, the highest frets from the top frets. And Just it right. will it will because it's still a seven and a seven and a quarter inch radius. It's not a flat radius, so it's going to fret out. You can't have a, you can't have low action with with a strat with seven and a quarter radius. I'm pretty straight, but. Straight isn't, necess- isn't necessarily right, you know. Can he do something shim wise with that? I just need to address the truss rod. That's all. You know? Truss rod. I'll yeah. I'll bring it to my uh, my tech. Right on. Yeah, I mean, as far as comparing the necks on the on the Mexican special and this one, I mean, you can tell they like the you know for the most part, you know, the same shape and everything, but it's like these. The, the, this is a Japanese one. It just has something, something extra special about it. <laughs> not, not that the Mexican one feels bad. It doesn't at all. Um, yeah, I never said it felt bad. I just wasn't impressed like I am with the, the Japanese or the American neck. <clears throat> yeah. mm-hmm. Well, the Japanese neck, in my opinion, is close to the, uh, to the American neck. 
but this is the only Japanese neck that I felt, and the signature model is the only American neck that I felt. So, but then again, I felt two of them. Mm -hmm. Dave, also, which way do you, really which quick, way do you, really quick. Hang on, John. Hang on. <laughs> Look at that video behind you. Look at that video. All the oh. shots from the other side of the stage are all from the back. There, yeah, there's definitely a. And a all lot the of shots, shots from the front back. are all from that side. So that has to be the reason he's on that side, is to get the best shots of him. Are there only. How many cameras are there? What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> wonder if Michael Anthony would tell you. <laughs> yeah, get him to sign that shirt again, and we can ask him. I don't know what just happened. I, have I, just, a feeling you, I just have a feeling you wouldn't remember. He, 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 he didn't remember the poop shirt. Yeah, he's. I mean, wait, it's Michael Anthony. Wait, wait, wait. I was John, gonna remember that. Stuff. John, do you know what you're doing with that guitar? No, I, I'm just I'm trying to. Trying, I'm, I'm trying, trying to find to turn that. No, I'm trying. I'm trying. You're only really supposed to turn it. it like the tiniest bit. You're not supposed to turn it like 20 I'm, times. I'm trying like to get. It. I'm off trying off to off. get it in the <laughs> hole. <laughs> it's like a quarter, a quarter turn every like. I'm trying to get it in the hole. <laughs> it's a lot, hole. Think it's, be a lot easier might, if there was hair around it. This might not be the right oh. size. <laughs> <laughs> get it in the right hole. I don't know if it's the right size. I think this is the I wrong think he, wrench. He tuned it up half a step already. Dude, it's no, like... that wasn't adjusting anything. <laughs> His E string went from like. <laughs> it's like that guitar now sounds like a ukulele. <laughs> I know, I know. I thought this was the right wrench, but I don't know. If... <laughs> But seriously, look at that video. Look at that footage. All the all the in the hole. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're just going deeper and deeper into the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it, it might be that your Allen key is the wrong size. That's exactly and, what it is. And, and when I say <laughs> Allen key, I mean your Allen key. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your definitely guitar, your guitar's size. like that's not it. I don't have all my Allen keys in front of me, so I'm just this one is I think this one goes to my chair or something else. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you going to ask me anyway, John? Me? I, yeah, I, I, you were I, like, so Dave, but... Oh, jeez, uh, what was it? Uh, and look at the, the camera of, of Alex is like from like way on the top. <laughs> right overhead, yeah. That's, yeah, oh, that's the overhead. Right, man. I guarantee you it had to do with filming. It was the best best shots of, of him and of course he's going to get the, the eddie's going to get the best shots over michael any day but they yeah. they shot like eight shows so i don't why is it such a big deal of that same venue no like the tour right there's like eight different yeah. videos right they yeah, did play three but nights at that that's venue. one venue three but also sao paulo who, who said it was it dutchy said that said that the the roadies set set the stage up wrong <laughs> yeah, I don't think that happened. Yeah, could you imagine? Yeah, everyone was fired that night, like Ron Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> what song is he playing? Right there. Cathedral, right there. Cathedral. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So, uh, Caleb. Yeah. Any updates on Guitar Leads Episode Three? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you pics just so you don't ask me again. I know. <laughs> Not nothing doing there. I, I, I have yet to, to, to finish that thing off, and I, don't I think know he's got bigger fish to fry right now. Yeah. Dude, that show. It's an ordeal. So our friend uh, Bark Eater is asking, I'm trying to choose from a Friedman small box or a Dirty Shirley. A small, think, boys? I would do a small box 50. It's got more gain. 
It's got the ability to have less gain, like a Dirty Shirley, but it has more gain than a Dirty, dirty Shirley. Huh. Uh, Fender Guru, yes, the, the chemtrails will be the backup to this. So everything in, in, in uh, E-flat will be played with this, and then I'll have that as the backup. So... Look at the Floyd on the 5150. Wow. Look at yeah, that. it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, did you find another Floyd for him? Yeah, there's yeah. one coming. Oh, unboxing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I, uh, one of my guitars. It's a birthday present. Thank you, Steve. Yes. I'm, I'm going to send you something nice. I like the picks, man. I like the picks. <laughs> it might be a, another pick. Not one of mine. <laughs> uh, so we have a someone new in the chat I haven't seen before. Partial Monty, as opposed to the full Monty. <laughs> uh, yeah, Partial Monty, we've discussed the new shark guitar. Uh, our friend Dave, <laughs> our friend, our friend Dave Nesdal had uh, built one, and uh, that's gone somewhere else. Is that correct, Dave? Yep. Yep, and uh, yeah, we've discussed that uh, it's been spotted on the EV uh, website. It was there shortly. I don't think it's there right now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we did a video on it. Just just go back, go back a, a few videos here, and you'll yeah come across a video. <laughs> Good night, Amanda Coombs. Be, 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 Good night, and thank you for all the, all the uh, discords. Dave, what size is a typical tr truss rod wrench? Um, depends on the arousal. For a Fender Mexican. I don't know. I, I I don't know the actual size. I can't tell you. I'm sorry. It's well, larger. Than, it's larger than three millimeters, though. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you in a minute. It'll 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 fit right in. Yeah, <laughs> it'll fit right in, and then it'll be snug. Uh, and, and you'll and you'll just want you'll just want to just twist it, <laughs> just, just the just the slightest. I've I've done a truss rod adjustment. I know how to do it, but <laughs> oh, obviously, <laughs> I gotta find the right size first. <laughs> it's it's bigger than a uh, bread box. It's bigger than the Floyd Rose key. Would it be? It's not uh, European. It's not. Uh, I'm not a peeing right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. It's European. That's not it. Yeah, that's not it. If you if you have to, three sixteenths. Oh, that's yeah, that's it. It. It's in there tight. That's good. Yep, that's it. All and right, it's so, 316? Are you serious? 316. 316. <laughs> so if I want more bow in the neck, Dave. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you want to go loose. I want to loosen it. So I want to go lefty. Yes. About a quarter turn. Let me see which way you're going. Righty is towards you, dude. So. You got to talk when, you, when you're doing it. This uh, towards towards the uh, the towards the, you the, is right the tuning pegs. No, oh, that's no. tightening it. All right, so loose, lefty loosey. All right, yes. so well, I don't so know. I feel like I'm going right. Push it left. You are, but it's coming this you, way or this way. When you do it, you you have to do it as if you were looking down the neck. Yeah, yeah you're behind it. Neck. Now righty tighty, lefty loosey. There you go. Uh, I got you. There you go, lefty loosey. <laughs> Is it the same on a left-handed guitar, or is it the opposite? Yes, it's the same. On what about in the Southern Hemisphere? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's only different on the southern tip of Vancouver. Okay. I think that worked. Uh, it's not fret now anymore. Just like that. Like wow. We just we did a live loosening. Yeah. Well, it's still fretting out when you're bending. We've got Nightwolf 212 in the house. All right. 
Well, it's easy. It's it's easy to play uh, unplugged anyway. Hey, John, what uh, year is that guitar? We know. Did I tell you guys the story of this one? No. Uh, this was a freebie. This was um. Oh, I like that. <laughs> when I worked at the club that I uh, worked at in my twenties, back in the nineties and in early two thousands. Yesterday, one of the open one of the opening bands left left uh, a strat. Uh, <laughs> a freebie. And they, and they, they left it. Well, they left it, and we we did try and get in touch with them for for several months for, for ten minutes. They they left the they left. I'll tell you. I mean, they look, left the green if, room for a second. If, <laughs> if if somebody wants to give tell me the serial number and claim this guitar. By all means, I'll give it right, give it right up if you get the serial number. But what well, band was it? <laughs> it was an opening band for I want to say it was a reggae, uh, somebody like Jimmy Cliff or uh, you don't remember uh, the name of the band, Ziggy Marley. Uh, it could have been. Uh, I had, I did have a name at one point. It's uh, like with the with the internet, you could something probably people. <laughs> Why no, I looked it up. I tried. I, 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 I honestly wouldn't. And as a guitar player, I'd want them to have their guitar back. But we, we tried to get in contact with them for a few months. You know, we never, they probably wrote it off for insurance or whatever. But, you know, it's, it's a Mexican. Thank God that you took it. It's a Mexican strat. It's, it's always, you know, it's, it's really not my was, go to guitar, given, but. Uh, it was given to the guy by Ingve. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You know? No. 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 But I always liked that it didn't have the serial number and the Mexican logo on the on the uh on the headstock. <laughs> it was scratched off. <laughs> no. Yeah. Honestly, you. you know, if you're watching this and this is your guitar, it's a <laughs> Sorry about the sticker. But it had the sticker on it though. Uh, originally, the sticker. If was... you play reggae, if you're a reggae fan, or if this is your oh. from your uh, nobody watching this <laughs> reggae band. <laughs> Jeez, I wish I could remember. I did have a name. I can't remember. It was like. You know, you made John B. L. feel bad. No, I don't feel bad at all. Uh, <laughs> like I said, like I said, as a guitar player, I would, I would want, and if, if. It was going on tour. If this was a touring band, they would have the serial number, and they would, if they want it back, they can have it. You know, just tell me that it's your serial number, and you can have it. Please take it. Please take it. <laughs> but it's my. It's a what is it? A fiftieth anniversary. Yeah, fiftieth anniversary Fender Mexican Strat. Wow. And cool. I got the Homer Simpson sticker on there. Well, that makes the whole thing. What's it say? I can't even read it. Nightwish. That's probably the name of the band. <laughs> yeah, Nightwish. Nightwish. Uh, they're, they're no, I put that on. I put that on. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, trust rod adjustment. There we go. Well done, man. Live on the air. Trust rod adjustment. All it takes is a quarter turn. There you go. In God we trust, we're up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That might have been Larry Riker's guitar. No. Nope. <laughs> he can't have it. <laughs> you tell me where you lost it and where, uh, what the serial number is, and you can have it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Michael Smith. No way. Is he, is he anchoring the boat? Uh-oh. Cool, man. It, go it goes one lower there, right? There's like three notes. E.
We've got six minutes till Caleb's uh, birthday again. Oh, uh, which which time zone? Mountain time zone's coming up. Uh huh. That's Michael Smith chiming in because it's your uh, birthday. Switch, where he switch is. on for the Den the Denver fireworks. Sean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's almost like the, the New Year's. Oh, the yeah. New Year's shows where every hour. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny because now, like, it used to be, like, we'd, we'd wait on the West Coast, but now we we just watch New York, and it's pretty much over. They just repeat <laughs> it. Like, there's no there's nothing live on the West Coast anymore. They just show New York again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the West Coast um, live shows are so bad. Yep. You know? The only good show is the one, the Times New York Square. one. Yeah, that's the only good one. Mm -hmm. it's like the most miserable place to be. Like everyone's <laughs> a freezing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, know, I know people who have gone to that, and they said it was just unbearable. So, you, uh, couldn't, you couldn't do anything. You were stuck. <laughs> no yeah. bathroom. No bathrooms, no nothing. Michael Smith has anchored the boat. John Biel's got Jaws on the big screen. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't watched Jaws this summer, I encourage you to watch it. It's, I watched it a few weeks ago. It's, it's oh, shooting still, star. Holds, still holds up. Shooting you star. Go. Yeah, you're right. I don't know if that was the shot, but uh, one of them. I think they added that in. They just scr they scratched is, the negative. The, the, the Quint speech. Great uh, Quint speech. Back in the water. They do say it was a real shooting star, but I tend to doubt that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 1100 men went into the water. <laughs> USS Indianapolis. Cox turned to Rex. 1945. <laughs> but we delivered the bomb. <laughs> uh, have you guys ever done the comparing scars uh, thing? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Yeah, we've I've never met that, right? any of you guys in person, not, except Caleb. Right. <laughs> what? Did, did we no, we and you didn't compare scars? Did we compare scars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Romeo Delight 90 in the house. Good evening, buddy. Awesome. Go ahead, Caleb. Go ahead, Caleb. <laughs> It's gonna down pick that. Man. No special music. For a very long night. It was probably all down picked in the beginning, but as of 2015, he didn't. Yeah, but on the on the record, it is. Like like I said, yeah. Well, you know, if they're playing a faster live, he's definitely not a. Uh... I'm your last reason. Six song. Mm hmm. So, uh, Caleb, what's up for the uh, birthday celebration uh, Pacific tomorrow? What's happening? Oh, I'm just gonna hang out with some family and some friends and do like a barbecue and have some kike. Excuse me. Have some kike. Oh, okay. <laughs> some pie, some pie, and some kike. Some pie. Some Some pie. Some Look at this. Am I here? No. Man, here's a T-shirt. Do they sell this shirt on Facebook? Joe Wentz, are you listening? I I want this shirt. I I want the, I want this shirt. Oh, rad! Look at that. Very cool. <laughs> nice. Dan and. So, so Jay, what's it like um, where you're lit, where you are right now, like around your house? I, I saw a photo earlier of uh, is it a golf course? <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, that's that's a little more inland, but that's near my parents' house actually. 
So what's, uh, what's outside your door? Do you see water? Like when you look outside? Your <laughs> no, no. Around me is uh, completely. It's fine. Well, just, a bunch, just a bunch of zucchini plants, right? <laughs> yeah. That's good. I like that. We had a uh, a beached whale earlier in the week, and uh, oh, smell. Well, sanitation tried to. Uh, they wanted to transport it to a a, a scientific, uh, you know, a lab to to dissect it, and they they had the bright idea of throwing putting it in a dumpster, Ugh. and to transport it, and needless to say, it didn't fit. So there's <laughs> a viral video going around from. Uh, uh, actually, a kid I went to high school with filmed it. Uh, just look up uh, whale dumpster, New Hampshire. And <laughs> yeah, needless to say, it didn't work. And the town was trying to figure out how to transport this, you know, thousand pound uh, whale. And let me guess, the whale people are all in... in, uh, in I didn't... Water. I'm sure they are, yeah. It's, it's, the it's dead. I'm just, yeah. it's so funny because I'm watching one of the greatest monologues in, in film history over your shoulder. Like, it literally is. And look at Dreyfus, who's just like transfixed. Well, do you know the story of this monologue? No. Uh, apparently, what's his name? Um, Robert Shaw. Robert Shaw. They had two days to do it. And. Robert Shaw on the first day was completely blitzed. He he couldn't remember his lines. He couldn't. He put in a terrible performance. Uh, and Spielberg like Ooh. gave him one more shot, and on the second time he nailed it. Um, but Robert Shaw was notoriously a, a, a you know a drunk, and uh, so he. But he nailed it on the second time apparently. But it was. Watch. There's so many. Drunk. Look at him. He just. It looks yeah. drunk. Well, he he was. I mean, he was probably still drunk on the good take. But uh, huh. real quick, classic. I'm gonna real see classic. if I can pull this off. From thrash metal and fun riffs. Who needs some vintage PV rack mount gear? Stereo power amp PV 2000 or CS 408402 or IPR2 2000 or Graphic EQ Q two one five B or wow. crossover VSX or compressor C E L two or the rack. What that all fall of a truck? Is it all PV stuff? Steve, can you read that one more time? Write it down. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a two thousand watt amp? <laughs> Stereo not. power amp PV two thousand. <laughs> Uh huh. Steve, what was the model number of the second one and fourth one? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but not in that order. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday again, Caleb. Thank you, Pal Guitars and Nightbot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard this is for uh, Quentin James because he wasn't here earlier. I just got to show him this. So, Quentin, this was one of the early ads of the Charvel EVH, EVH Art Series guitars. This is when I saw the Bumblebee and had to order it. This is for you, man. I pull, I found this just for you. <laughs> there it is. You can pick one of those guitars, bro, and he'll send it to you. Yeah. <laughs> the Bumblebee. Yeah. Uh, Thrash Metal at Fun Riff says the CS408042 is 2 by 2, 2,040 watts? Wow. It's too bad. 2,040 watts aside? That's pretty big. Wow. <laughs> PB made some high power amps. I had a big. an 800 watt. Uh, Oh. Solid state back in the day. Very funny when I I used to work at Guitar Center and, and like someone uh, like a Latino band would come in. You do guys got a piv? <laughs> what? Piv? You do guys carry piv? 
Excuse me? Piv. P-V. Piv. You carry Piv? Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> Simon Williams from the UK, chiming in. Simon, good morning, man. What is it, uh, 7 o'clock? Yeah, he's eight hours, eight hours difference. So that's not 7 o'clock then. No, from us. From West Coast. Oh. Yeah. Now, I, I want Caleb and Jay. What? I want right Caleb, no. I want you both to play your guitar for the next hour doing your riffs without touching your whammy bars. I bet you can't do it. No, I, I probably can't. I haven't touched my whammy bar in a while. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's bad when you don't even know what you're doing it. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about taking it off. Uh, yeah, here, here. Let's take it off. I'm not taking mine off. I'm working. I'm working on a solo for one of our one of our songs, and after every single take, no matter what note I'm ending on, mm -hmm. I'm doing. You know, if I end on, even though I don't touch the bar at all during the solo, it's still on. So I was in the shower today. I'm thinking. You know, maybe while I'm working on the solo, since I don't touch the bar, I'll take it off. And then I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Leaving it on. It's a part of the guitar, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. You, you touch your, your bar in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't, then it certainly isn't clean. <laughs> <laughs> the bar of soap. <laughs> What is this? Larry, what's <laughs> Larry Riker, man? Go to the go to go to the Discord. Look at this picture. I'll show you guys this just to just to show you, but that's pretty funny, man. Focus. There we go. What? What is and look, look, look what he's watching. What is, is that Ed? <laughs> Ed's on the boat scene. Eddie's yeah. holding up the guitar. Yeah, he's, he's touching the guitar. How'd you do it? Was I watching that? You were no. just watching this. Look, you're smiling. He photoshopped. You don't, you don't remember that? <laughs> he's no, like I photo don't. He's photoshopping stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. Where's uh, Michael Smith? He was anchoring the boat. Where is he? Is he coming on, Johnny? I don't know. Michael, do you want in? No. Mm -hmm. He's got Jaws on. Yeah. Yeah, come on in. Wouldn't be right without going below. Be kill her to see him if you really kill him. <laughs> kill her if you got in here, Mike. Kill her. Kill her. So, Dave, what do you got planned for this weekend? Taking care of my cat. Uh oh. Yeah. What's wrong with the cat? Uh, well, we've been meaning to take take him to the vet for a while. And uh, we took him today, had some blood tests. He's been losing a bunch of weight. Uh -oh. like a horse. Uh, Dave, you got a question from Dutchie5150? The best way to do the dips, the drips on the Neptune guitar is with a, a paintbrush, tiny paintbrush. That's how it was done on mine. It looks pretty realistic. No gravity. It just never comes out perfect if you do, if you use gravity. It doesn't doesn't come out the way it looks like on Ed's guitar. 
<laughs> cool. Do you guys remember a movie that came out either late yeah. 80s or early 90s? It might have been late 80s. It might have been like 88, 89, something like that, called Men at Work. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. With the, with the uh, Emilio. The, the Estevez brothers. Estevez brothers. Estevez brothers. Yes. For some reason, Jeannie was uh, scrolling through Amazon Prime Video yesterday, and that movie popped up. I was like, "Hit, click that!" I was like, "I haven't seen this movie probably since it was on like you know HBO or something." And right in the t and right, Johnny, you'll you'll appreciate this. Remember we were talking about uh, Stuart I Copeland. Yep. The other I, day. Know. I know. I know. Yep, soundtrack by Stuart Copeland. I was like, "Holy crap!" Soundtrack. Soundtrack. <laughs> Yep. And I remember that movie. I remember being like super excited about it coming out and it not being as funny as I thought it was going to be. No. And I had the same sentiment when I was, I watched probably the first half hour of it. And I remember, or I, I was like, man, this movie should have been so much funnier. Mm -hmm. but it I don't think any, either of those, I don't think Charlie Sheen or Emilia. Emilio Estevez is funny. I really don't. I mean, maybe a little some on three and a half, two and a half men. Uh uh. He is. That, was, that show, I don't get that show. I maybe. don't understand how people think that's funny. But he's not funny. He's not. You know what it is? Funny. You've seen Major League, right? Yes. He was he's good at that. Because he had that, that dry kind of. And but he still, was, that wasn't funny. And he had a bit part in it. He was like a. It was like supporting, you know, like yeah, California Penal League. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the problems was it was written by Emilio Estevez. Yeah. And directed. Written, written and directed and direct. by. Yep. Written and directed. Yep. Yeah. Because there's some dialogue in there where they're like, you know, doing their their garbage route. And I'm like, man, they should have had Quentin Tarantino write this dialogue because it's it was pretty bad. Or was the other one called Stakeout? Richard Dreyfuss and Amelia. Yes. That was a good one. That was good. Yeah, I remember that being pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I remember like the best part about that movie was the golf clap. The end. <laughs> yeah, the end. No, the golf clap. What was the last thing Amelia Estevez ever did? He was on Two and a Half Men. <laughs> Besides that, was that. that was Charlie. I mean, but I'm sure Amelia. Oh no, no, he did a guest appearance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I know. So didn't didn't Ed do a guest appearance on that show? Didn't they do another Mighty Ducks reunion or something? No, he he got into directing instead of acting. Uh, maybe like four or five years ago, maybe even more by now. Might have been eight years, several ago. years ago. He did a movie about some father and son that like uh, went on some hiking trip or something. Yes, I remember seeing that. Him and uh, his what's his dad's name? Uh, Esteban uh, Sheen. Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen. Martin Estevez. <laughs> Charlie Estevez. <laughs> and Emilio Sheen. <laughs> what's the deal with those what's the deal with those names though? Is Estevez. Estevez. Is is Estevez? Estevez. Uh, is that the real so, name and Sheen is a stage name? Or Estevez's father, Martin Sheen, born Ramon Estevez, is half <laughs> Irish and half Spanish descent from the Galicia, Galician the region. Islands, yes. <laughs> uh, Sheen is a he Roman was a Catholic. Of blah blah blah. So it's his, it's Martin Sheen's uh, original name. A, a born Ramon Estevez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Estevez, hey, Estevez. And Charlie is Charles Estevez or Estevez? Estevez. Carlos, Carlos Estevez. No. Uh, born. Wow. Irwin. <laughs> Oh, I guess that's that's probably the uh, Ital or what is it, Italian name? Jewish. What did I just say? <laughs> is he Italian or what is he? A Judah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh, okay, Michael. M Michael's gonna uh, drop anchor yeah. and then join us. <laughs> you know that. You know it's weird and this is strange, but I was delivered by the same doctor as. as wow. Uh, Charlie C. Charlie C. Really. Cool. <laughs> but you're funnier than he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and at this point, you probably have more money than he does, too. <laughs> no, I don't. 
<laughs> Wait, <laughs> well, I think he's broke. So how do I'll you know him... that? How how does anybody know a doctor delivered them? How do I know that? Um, Talk to your doctor. mother. Because so I mean, we always knew who he was, obviously, and uh, and I think it was it was known that he'd also delivered all the Sheen kids too. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, that's something that actually I would, gave I would, a portrait of, of the doctor. So nice. So hmm. and I'm actually, having, I'm, I'm Charles' having... name Charles is Charles Irwin, and and his middle name is based on the doctor who was Irv. His name was Irv Shabon, I think. Midtown or Upper West Side, New York. So. Do you guys know who Charlie? She oh, no, I'm sorry, Amelia Westervez was married to from '92 to '94. Yeah. Demi Moore. Nope. No. Paula What's Abdul. The there you go. Oh, Paula Paul Abdul, man. Yeah. Straight up yeah. now, tell me, is it going to be <laughs> you and me together? Ow, ow, ow. Remember that stupid song? Yeah, I can't yeah with, with, with the cat. What was the cat's uh, MC Scat Cat? MC Scat Cat. Two and steps then forward, that, two well, steps back. <laughs> yeah. Then she did that song with, uh, with, with Ted from... Uh, Bill and Ted? Yeah. That's <laughs> mm -hmm. Keanu mm -hmm. Reeves. Did anybody else notice that, that hiccup? Yes. What, what was happened? that? I don't know. Does anybody notice that I'm presented? No. You're not presented. No. On the, on the video, I am. On the, vi on the video, it's just me. I'm looking at John. I'm just looking at John BL right now. Why? So we're all oh, talking, on, but John on YouTube, is On YouTube, something happened, and it's just me now. Hmm. Wow. So For me, it's John what's going on. Hey, Johnny, can you present yourself or present somebody else and then turn it off, like unpresent them? Maybe that'll fix it. So if I say I farted, it's really Johnny saying it? Yep. Johnny oh, is presented. Johnny, no, no, I see Johnny. Johnny is no longer presented. No. Yeah. It's just stuck on me now. I don't Huh. Stuck, stuck on, on me. you. Yeah. For me, it's I got a feeling that. I, <laughs> I got to be on now. Dang it. What if you present somebody else? Um, is that Lionel Richie? Did you, guys, yeah, did you guys see? Did you guys see the hiccup? I saw I, it. Hey. I saw it. Caleb was telling his story. Caleb went away. Yes. And then we came back, yeah. and it was it was just stuck on me. But as soon as right right before it came back, after it showed Caleb's uh, uh, it showed Steve, it showed it showed yeah. It's like you're stuck on band aids. There band -Aid, now it's just, it's just band aid stuck on you, stuck on you. Ghost Ooh. in the machine. Must have been something on Google's uh. The Google. It was it. weird. I see John Biel. Maybe it's the person to the left of the people on the, down below because no. I see John Biel full screen. I, I see everybody. Full screen. I see Johnny. everybody going through. Yeah, on the video, I just talking. see Johnny full screen. Really? Okay, let me see. I, I, I'm see you click on me, and, and I, you probably are you. Oh, now uh, I see so, Steve following me. I see Steve on the video, Johnny. I presented Steve. I presented Steve. So since he's presented, it, the video is just him. You don't see any of us in the corner. Right. Exactly. Yeah, Quentin James is saying that it blinked. Yeah, it had like a. A quick flash, and then it came back. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. All right, let's get. I think it's Steve's computer that's messing us all up. <laughs> Probably. Let's that get out. In. We'll come back. He installed thirty instances of that plugin. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That I probably clicked right when we were on two hours into the show. <laughs> it has a thing about the two-hour mark all the time. Really? Yeah, it does. It doesn't want you to go there. That's what it is. EMPs, uh, electromagnetic pulses. Electromagnetic penises. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't say electromagnetic. Could be. It could you can't be. say it either. <laughs> yeah, neither can you. <laughs> I can't say electromagnetic. <laughs> Electroenagmetic. <laughs> well, it is the equinox. So. Oh, can't you stand an Good egg? point. Up? Yeah. Right now? Maybe the night bot got ejected. Maybe that's what, what it was about. <laughs> Eject ejaculated. Yeah, where's where's night bot? There's stack of pounds. Yeah. Said that. 
Nightbot, wish me a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. How many we got watching? How many thumbs up? We got 42 watching. We got 27 thumbs ups. Mr. President. Mr. Hey. Mr. President. Let's see what happened. Mr. B. Let's, does anybody does anybody know exactly? Well, I guess if we scroll back, okay, there's John B.L. Soda Pop said it, it happened right after I said Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here it is. I got it. I found I found this the part where it happened. It happened oh, at a, my fault. You broke the code. We broke we broke Google. We broke the internet. Now my, mine's stuck on John BL. He's big on my screen. <laughs> oh, he's big on everyone's screen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big boy. It's getting larger. <laughs> you guys want to see where it happened? I can show you exactly where it happened. Yeah, Can't wait. Sure, I got it, it right here. Go ahead. Here is exactly the point. All right. Hang on. Hang on. You got to present yourself. Well, I'm already, I'm already presented to me. So how do you know that? How how does anybody know what doctor delivered them? How do I know that? Does um, anybody really know what time it is? <laughs> Just Johnny showing the video. <laughs> and look, he's stuck. Hi, Steve. Hi. Hi. What are we doing? Johnny was showing the video. Yeah, I know. It's frozen. The screen went black. It came back, and it was on me. <laughs> hey, Caleb, who do you see uh, being on your screen? Um, keep switching. But I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm watching the, the live feed. I'm not watching the. I'm not watching the. the Click the, on my my uh, lower picture and see if it shuts off for me. Because you point. can highlight you can highlight whoever you want on the on the hangout. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. It's normally who's talking and who goes too big, right? It's not doing that right now. Oh, I never knew you could highlight it. Hi. Hi, Dave. Hi. <laughs> What's going on? Hi, Steve. Okay. Hey, you doing over there? Okay. Well, I, I, I can, I can, I, can I, want. I can present people. I can, oh. I can present if you want. But for right now, for some reason, it's just stuck on me. Oh, I can watch um, me. If you watch the video. Oh, that's cool. I can just watch me. <laughs> you know yeah. what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a pee break. Oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, make sure you leave. Okay. Well, let, let's present him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here comes the shark. I just pooped a little. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Michael Smith? Anchor that boat. Oh, do we want to watch that movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Quint's about to get eaten, dude. Here we go. Isn't isn't it? Uh... Here, let's just, let's just everybody let's just watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Click on John Beale's profile. Mm. They use some real shark footage in here. Did you guys see that meme where, where it's like a guy like that and it says the shark is like, oh no, somebody's trapped in there. I'll get you out. <laughs> <This shows him. laughs> That's why they're biting, they're biting the cage. <laughs> oh, boom. That had to hurt. Yeah. And be scary. Uh, yeah, Simon Williams, the poll question this week is uh, I want to know your top three favorite lead singers of all time michael hey michael hello let me let me see if that did anything let me let me see if if uh say something somebody hey. something, somebody nah it's still me no nah, I, ju I just saw jay yeah i'm stuck on john Beale. Mm -hmm. but if you guys if you guys open up the video and you'll see it's just me you think youtube detected the the jaws video in the background and that's why this is happening no, absolutely not i don't <laughs> think so because aren't you watching that from on youtube no it's a blu-ray 
Or a Blu-ray dub, anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's that because because usually copywritten stuff gets detected by the sound, not well, the image. Put some, I'll put something else on. Since oh, today's man. the anniversary of this the Celand Arena, nineteen seventy-eight. Yeah, it's only Johnny. I'm watching. You, you, you know, in in about thirty-five minutes, it's the anniversary of Caleb. Yeah. Oh, I just pooped a little again. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm putting my whammy bar How's back. That? That's a good pick right there. <laughs> Wait, nobody see, nobody sees. Nobody yeah, sees. Nobody's gonna see that. Nobody well, sees it. Hang on. Awesome. There it is. Where? Ah! <laughs> Who do you think that could be? That's Eddie Van Halen, but it's not because it's the wrong pick. No, that's, a, that's one of those. What? What shape is that? A tortilla. <laughs> sure. Very famous guitarist, uh, blues sort of blues guitarist. Tortilla. That sounds that sounds good. <laughs> well, Eddie Eddie also had ones that said that on it. In, Did he uh, really? Oh. Yeah. In fact, this I may would, I, I may even have one. That says, this this could be a mid. This is probably a mid nineties. Uh, buddy guy. Buddy guy. Oh. Yeah. Buddy guy. Oh. Buddy guy. Michael Smith, what's happening, brother? What's up, man? How's everybody doing? Good. Uh, how's the uh, real estate market? Real estate market right now is slow. We, we just can't find anything that we want. I mean, everything everything we look at is just it dry, it, it's not dried up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there, but people are still like insane with the prices, man. It, it, yeah. It's not a buyer's market at the moment. No, not even close. No, not even close. So, I mean, I'm not. I'm not paying a crazy price for a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the uh, star? How's the star guitar doing? Star guitar is doing great. I was playing that earlier, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Dave. Thank you, Mike. Uh, Michael, are you a real estate guru like Steve? <laughs> uh, no, I'm looking to buy a house to live in. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Steve's a slumlord, though, right? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Where is it? Where is you have to reboot your computer. <laughs> Where's the zing? <laughs> you have to ask his tenant. Nah, somehow, I don't think so. The fact of Land, a lot landlord, of, landlord. Sorry. He was saying that, that that he's putting a lot of money into refurbishing a lot of the apartments. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, G. Butchnoff in the chat uh, says he saw Kiss in 79 on their Dynasty tour when he was in the third grade. Uh, changed his life. And just so you guys know, Kiss has announced their final tour officially ever, but it's yeah. going to be about three years long. <laughs> three years long. <laughs> Until they tour again. Yeah. <laughs> All stadiums. Yeah. You know, I've Kiss, heard Kiss growing up was one of my favorite bands, like in the 70s and in you know, the early. I, I, I loved them. Um, never saw him. I, I never saw him live. So I think I actually might go see him this time. I know it's not the original lineup and everything, but well, that to, could change. That could change. <laughs> uh, that would be that would be awesome. Now, if, imagine if they got all four, you know, the, the original lineup together and maybe mixed in all four kisses. Say again, all four kisses. Kiss. All four kisses. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, kind of mixed in the other guys. That that now you got a sold out tour. You get all four together. That's that that would be mm -hmm. a ready ready Caleb. That'd be a killer show. There so, you go, killer. Yeah. Are you They're saying all off, the four originals? Uh, Peter, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then what? What if they added uh, the other guys too? I mean, watch my put point. another uh, another guitarist. Yeah, John. Yeah. Add the other guys, so actually drummer. it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Johnny. Yeah, turn turn Peter and Ace down, and then you get Johnny's uh, directing the show. He's presenting. <laughs> right? oh, yeah. Whoever talks, with I'm having to. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, like speak... Monday Night, it's like Monday Night Football. He's picking the cameras to put on right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see, Michael, Michael Beatty. I actually do stuff around here. Don't yeah. Mind. How he's going? What? Wait a minute. Who, who are we on now? Who, who's saying well, that? I'm going now. It's my it's my turn for crying out loud. <laughs> Thrash Metal says, um, 
Uh, speaking of the F word, um, <laughs> there's a famous baseball card with the F word showing on the base of the bat. Um, and I, th I don't think it was, I think it was Billy Ripken, actually, his car. Cal Ripken, you mean? No, Cal, Cal's uh, brother, Billy. That's his brother, Billy, yeah. A very short career. But on the very bottom of the bat, it said, like, F off or something or F you. And the second the car got released, they realized, uh, ooh, I'm presented. I wonder Check how much money was... that card's worth, Jay. Uh, Let's when see. I was, when I was, it was like an upper deck card, I think, was the um, – it was uh, uh, Fleet Flair. Oh, it was a Flair, huh? Okay. Second base, Billy Ripken. Yes. I At least it. I got Billy Ripken right. Can you show it on there? Yeah. Recent uh, history. You can see it right there. Can, uh, you probably can't see it now. <laughs> F U C K oh, oh, F A C E. You can't, you can't spell that on here. <laughs> what is it? What, what's the second word? That doesn't or spell that. Face. Awful con on oh, that's right. Yeah, the second F word is face. Right. That's right. <laughs> I remember wanting that, man. I was like, oh, let me oh, please let me open a pack with that in there. <laughs> what was that? Uh, 19. What year was it? I'm thinking 92 or 91. 89. Damn. How the hell did that get put out, though? I mean, Nine greatest really... trading car errors of all time. Bro Bible. I used Nobody... to work in a baseball card store. Nobody, like, I mean, talk about lack of checks and balances. How do you, how do you let that? <laughs> I want to know the story of that. I want to know that. That's like, the... have yeah, you guys exactly. seen the, C, the C3PO card? Tell me you guys have seen the C-3PO card. Yeah, we, we, we talked about the C-3PO card on here like a year ago or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, refresh my memory, please. All right, I'll find that one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you can find pictures of both. The, 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 original, the first one and then the it's, one that was... It's really good, this one. <laughs> well, here. I mean... Yeah. You know, I think they were, they were too busy trying to keep you know, steroids out of the game. Oh, with his Doniker. Yes, exactly. Yeah, or just Google it. Oh my god! Just yeah. just Google C three PO trading card, and you'll see the wow. two side by side. Nineteen seventy seven. It's card number two hundred seven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's not even like the second you see it, you're like, oh yeah, look at that. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you see it? Yes. Oh, yeah. freaking great! Uh, see, nowadays, nowadays that would be it's on a the lot news. of metal. That That's... would be on the news. People would be like suing tops for like you know punitive damages and stuff. Yeah. Back then it was like I used to have a whole collection. Sue everybody! The Star Wars. Sue uh, everybody! Damn it. cards. I'm gonna sue you. I think that was that was C C ten PO. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> Selland Arena. So, have you guys seen the the higher quality versions of the Selland <laughs> C three P nine and a half EO? <laughs> I ended I ended up getting them from uh That's what Stack of Pancake said. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like you. I found I found a Dropbox <laughs> link. Like, he doesn't like you either. <laughs> he doesn't like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> C3 you watch yourself. <laughs> C3 You'll be dead. <laughs> C three P nine that I have. I think that movie was a year old when that video was shot behind you or that film. That's, That's right. I don't know how I found this on a Dropbox somewhere, and uh, it's uh, probably like a four eighty dub, but it's the best dub that's out there of this show. You know, a real like digital transfer. 
You can just answer it, Steve, because I need to switch, switch the camera to somebody else. What happened? Go ahead and just answer him. <laughs> yeah, answer, answer him. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I want to ask uh, Zach Thong. He, he says he just bought a new classical guitar yesterday. Zach, can you let us know what brand of the classical guitar you bought? And maybe the year. I'm a big fan of knowing what year it was. And he was a, really... He's a big fan of knowing what everyone, everything is about everyone. <laughs> yeah. Big fan, big fan. Uh, Dutchie, uh, I got to start. Uh, I got to paint uh, white. I haven't even started yet. I've been working like crazy this week and uh, eventually. The next, the next long weekend. Thanksgiving's coming up, I guess, the next holiday. Maybe that the next weekend. 3PO Thanksgiving. Next three C3PO weekend. Long weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so C-3PO was really a black guy, huh? Oh my god. Oh, Quentin. Yeah. That's Quentin, man. That's Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Anthony Daniels, the British actor. Nice. We got 38 watching, 30 thumbs ups. Thanks everybody for getting us to 30. That's awesome. <laughs> so John BL, what's up for your weekend coming up here? Uh, I got two days off and then I'm back to work. Nothing <laughs> much going on this weekend. All right. It's a regular weekend weekend, you know? I got Friday night and Saturday night off and then I'm back to work on Monday. Well, I hope you get more uh, diver down footage this weekend. Yeah, like I said, guys, you know, if if, if we could get a Discord uh, link Ding. that get your get your, get some shots of your local arena <laughs> or local stadium, whatever it may be. Everybody's wherever. tuned differently. Here, here's here's the C three PO sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna poop a little. Oh my god! <laughs> Shut them all down! Shut them all down! <laughs> so I want David Nesdal sound. Wait, wait, John, do that again. Oh, <laughs> Stomach. Solo came out on uh, digital oh. last week. I wow. watched it uh, last Saturday. How was it? Um, from, was it better the second time? As far as the new films, the new you know the Disney films, it's it's up there. Uh, not as good as Rogue One. Not as good as you know one of the. But wait, who, who am I it's presenting? Fun. It's fun. It's fun anyway. It's a fun movie to watch anyway. Oh wait, I th I think it's fixed. Hang on, I think I think it's fixed. No, it's not. <laughs> Steve, when you see the bottom bar with everybody's face, is there like a white box with an arrow on anybody? Oh, for yeah. me, it, it was John Bl. I I want to get rid of it. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Steve. No, 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 not, not that way. <laughs> so I click on the same. If you see that little white box, he click, doesn't like you. Click on the same. I don't like you either. <laughs> you watch yourself. No, I'm looking for like an X or something so we can get back to normal. When someone's speaking, you see them, but that's not happening. Yeah. Oh, man. My communicator is talking to me. We got uh, 22 minutes till Caleb's official Pacific birthday. <laughs> well, he's already 25 here, so I'm I'm probably gonna split in a minute. I gotta. Uh... Oh really? Yeah. What is it with you and splitting early? S split. <laughs> well, splitting. Are the Bears playing early tomorrow morning? Is that what's happening? I'm splitting. No, Jeannie has to work tomorrow, so I gotta get up with Ellie. Oh, John, yeah. John yeah. Biel, let's let's recap. Show everybody what uh, what you got earlier. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, we're doing recaps now. Recap. <laughs> yeah, Why not? <laughs> this is the the legendary Michael Anthony autographed. Poop awesome. Shirt. As you can you can look back on the uh, no. on the channel. 
We can look back on the Johnny Bean channel. Caleb, what, when was that? About uh, April, May, maybe? I think it was in May or, or April. It's in April. Here's the Michael Anthony autograph. Guitar Center Pasadena. That's badass. Again, that's awesome, man. I, 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 I'm going to definitely frame this. I mean, you, you can picture, unfortunately, on the, on the Live Without a Net cover, he's not wearing the poop shirt. But uh, that could go along with, this, with you know, the, the, the legendary first night of the, of the New Haven show. Maybe he uh, wore a different mm -hmm. shirt. Well, look at, all, look at all those shots of them. None of them. None of those shots are from that video. Right. Yeah, because Ed's got uh, black pants on, doesn't he? Or black, yeah. He's got the black poof pants. <laughs> yeah, Ed's got... Uh, you see any? <laughs> the BPPs, the black poof pants. The black poof pants. Well, MC Hammer. On the inside, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, it's got, it's, I think it has the lyrics. Yeah, the MC Hammer pants before MC Hammer There's wore them. MC Hammer has the Eddie Van Halen pants on. He's like, man, I gotta get, <laughs> get me a pair of them, man. MC uh, Hammer on. Oh, Japanese nice. laser, laser disc. It's got all the lyrics. I don't know if you guys have seen that. No. no that's cool, man. It has, and, does it have the lyrics to One Way to Rock on there? Yep. There's only oh, One okay. Way to Rock. That's cool. Um, didn't, I think, one of the earlier printings or maybe one of the, the final printings had uh, uh, which song? Um, what was good enough? enough? Good enough on 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 the on the uh, set list. Go ahead, Caleb. Go ahead, Caleb. Oh, I gotta go drop A for that. I can't do that. Hold on a second. And good enough. Huh? Uh, Sorry. Good enough. Speaking of lyrics, okay. It's not on this one, but I think some of the pressings had good enough on the uh, on the liner notes. When he goes, hey, waitress, what does he say next? Rack of what? No, yeah, I know that part. Hey, waitress. Do you have anything, you have anything me and the fellows might be interested in? Before that. Specials? Nope. Hey, waitress. Come around, around. Ah. Oh, I guess. Well, come question. over here a minute. As far as live without a net, I got a couple of questions. That's no. Are you talking about on the record? Because he yeah. doesn't say that at all on the on the uh, on the live thing. I'm talking about on on the actual CD on the record. Get over here a minute or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of mumbled and quick, and I I I don't know what the hell he says. Just before the drum I'll solo. Tell you. And uh, right back. I'll tell you. Okay. What is it? Get up. Get up is just before the drum solo. Mm -hmm. At the end of Get Up, Sammy's doing something like he's like, uh, yeah, he's, what he is he over Michael Anthony. And I can't understand what he says just before that. It's something like, do something. I'd have to like listen to it, but he it's like he says something. something I, I don't know what he's. Yeah. Yeah. But he says, is there something else something that he says about, you don't know what the hell it is? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd have to listen to it again. To there's a yeah, few when, things when on that watch, video that I always wondered what he that, said. Sammy's on on Mike's side and jumps from the side back to the stage, and Michael Anthony was stand and he jumped right over him. I think that's what they were referring to, like Michael Anthony. Yeah, something about jump. Over. He does say something about like jump. Did you yeah. do something about that jump? Or, you know? You're gonna kill me, Mike. There's a couple <laughs> things on that that I've always wondered what he said. I, I there's that one, and there's uh, I'll, I'll I want to know. There's one part when, in the beginning of Best of Both Worlds, when they both come out, you know, and they and they start going back and forth, mm -hmm. and like, I, I want to know what they said to each other. I got it. What is it? Look here, man. That's what really? he said. Hey, waitress, look here, man. You got any specials here that me and the fellows might Tonight? Be What's that? Rack of what? Well, I'll have some of that. Yeah, I know that part, but it's, it's yeah, it's right after the... Was that the one that was in Spaceballs? Hey, waitress. Hey, waitress. Look here, man. That's what he okay. Says. 
I guess that makes sense. Hey, uh, Dave, our friend Soda Pop in the chat. How long was Steve Vai and White Snake? Was it one record and one tour, or was there anything yes. else he did with them? One record, one tour, and he got paid a bazillion dollars to do it. <laughs> yeah, Vai you Snake. Want, you you want Steve Vai and White Snake? He was. I got Steve Vai and White Snake. That's not White just, Snake. Just do, his solo, just do his solo section. It's Vi Snake. Um, G says, Jay, are you talking about the Live on a Net video? Um, on the part that me and John are talking about with the jumping and the best of both worlds when they're, they come out and they do the one little lick and then they're both laughing and pointing at each other. Yeah, and he's like something like... Yeah, that I'm he's, talking about. It's about a jump. He's talking about the, the jump. Good enough. I'm talking about the um, oh. actual record, but yeah. I know what he said. Am I here? What? On the record. Yeah. He says something like, like, hey, see you later, man. Well, why? It's, it's like, the very like, beginning. Like, like, like he was talking to somebody. Is hey, waitress, see you later, man. Hey, wait. He's like, hey, isn't that it? Hey, waitress. And then like he's he talking said, to somebody. Listen here, man. That's what he said. I just. So, I so just, it's a man waitress? What's that? I got, I got, oh. Ma'am? Like, how about, how about ma'am? <laughs> See you later, ma'am. Everybody go listen to Good Enough, the break at the whistle. And you tell me what you think Sammy <laughs> says after Hey Waitress. Do it now. What are you waiting for? For crying out loud. My phone's at 20%. Uh-oh. So? You're sitting at a computer that you could plug it into. <laughs> Usually, like, <laughs> if you're out and about, that's one thing. Oh, where's the cable? Here we go. I, I've got a, a Mophie. What the heck? Who's going to get Johnny flagged? I know. Who's doing that? <laughs> Who is it? That's me. You got a me there. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get flagged. <laughs> that should be uh, next week's um, trivia question, but nobody knows the answer. He says, <laughs> "We'll find like, out next week." Sounds like "Make it here, man." I almost want to say, "Like I'd like to order, man." <laughs> Make it <laughs> here, man. I got it. I got to tell you, it sounds like it was punched in. It sounds like they punched in on on top of him saying something. Really? That's what it sounds like. It sounds like he was saying something, and they punched right over it. So uh, I got I got the tab book here. I'm going <laughs> to tell you what the tab book says. Oh, oh man. that's pretty smart. Hold on. Uh, actually, hold on. actually, uh, Jay. Yes. I can tell you exactly how you can figure that out. He says, "Hey, Stick waitress. Uh, like E R, ma'am. Uh, air, ma'am." Uh, air, ma'am. That's what uh, they're saying. Oh, yeah. like, 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 er, man. It's a bad book. But it makes more sense that he'd be talking about a female, like, ma'am. <laughs> no, it's just somebody saying man, like, that, like, who, who can't say anything without saying man. That's what it sounds like to me. Cause, Jay, what you can do, throw that song into Pro Tools and put it on, on acapella mode. And slow it down. And you, you'll take the, you, you'll pull the lyric right out. Hold on, do I have uh Make it here, man. That's what I hear. Make it here, man. No, make it yeah, make here. That's what they said. In the is anybody still watching us? In the chat, what do you guys what do you guys think Sammy's saying there? Tell us in the in the chat. Man, I don't have that uh I think he says eat a bag of bones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We're only gonna be in the band for nine more years, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> What's he say right here? You're all right, right? Trying to kill my ass, Mike. What did he say? That I think he says trying to kill my ass, Mike. Really? That's what I think he says there. You're my air front. That's what I hear. You're Myers, huh? Yeah. Are you Mike Myers, Mike? 
<laughs> I, I I heard purple monkey dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> you, are you wearing your poof shirt again? <laughs> All right, let's you didn't wash that shirt, Mike. <laughs> you didn't wash that tonight. So, so uh, Michael Smith, what's your number one right now? Is it the star or the Ernie Ball? I gotta go with the star. Really? Well, just because of I'm. Of course, it's your brand new guitar. Exactly. It's it's my it's my it's my new guitar. Yeah. Exactly. And to answer your question, what I'm doing this weekend, it's Sunday night, I'm seeing Judas Priest in Deep Purple. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So Who's I, left in Priest? Rob Halford and uh, the drummer. <laughs> oh, the bass player. Yeah. Just so it was one of the guitarists, right? No, they're uh, both. Not KK, ball. but. Uh, really? Uh, really? KK K- 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 got over with some golf course or something like that. Oh, man. He had to sell a whole bunch. A whole bunch of things to pay off credit uh, creditors. Glenn Tipton is, is not healthy. That'll be a cool show. Hey, Mike, Partial Monty wants you to show uh, the star guitar. <laughs> hey, Mike. Partial Mike. Monty. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike. What was Mike. That Mike. Last night? Partial Monty wants you to show. <laughs> Hey, Mikey? I went out and bought some brand new shoes. Now I walk like someone else. Hey! Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> Just too high. But all that can't be worth my piece of the pie. Yeah, pretty much up there. That's, that's the range that <laughs> goes there. Nice. Here she is. Is that an EVH Floyd? Is that what that's on that? Yep. Yep. Nice. Wow. That's brand spanking new, man. Yeah. That's how tiny the paint is. <laughs> it's actually used. <laughs> yep. And I have not found a scratch on it. Look at that rosewood. <laughs> Silver tone head, that. isn't it? Look at that paddle of a headstock. And it's got flame on it. What is that? Dan Electro head headstock? Yeah. Oh. And li- and later he, he modified that headstock for the rude guitar. Yeah, and then it was on the Frankenstein for a minute. Worst decision he ever made. <laughs> well, he obviously liked that ne- that neck a lot. No, let's be honest. The worst decision you ever made is... Uh, Look at this thing, man. I mean, it's... it's Sammy. It's, it's flawless. It's beautiful. Are you used guitar? Are you kidding me? What's the... That bar. What's the picture supposed to be? Is that like a sword and... Uh, yeah, there's a whole just, bunch. Just really abstract? Eddie, Eddie is into... He's, he's into um, uh, arrows a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think he made this. He made the C three PO card. <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you look, if you look at a lot of his guitars, they have arrows on them. There's a lot of guitars that have arrows somewhere in the paint shop. So, Mike, when did you get that? We could go to that. Nice, house. Mike. Got it. I gotta, get my, I gotta get me one of those, Mike. That's, that's awesome. A pointy guitar. I always like that shape. Is that that's based on a Kramer design or a uh, Charvel? Charvel. Charvel design, okay. Actually, Kramer had a Voyager, right? Arrows, right here. <laughs> Couple arrows. Bye, see you later. <laughs> but not just on that guitar. There's arrow. There's arrows on the on the Neptune Kramer. There's arrows on the Rude guitar. Is, is that the original Bye, see you later? That's the original yeah. graphic of that. Mm-hmm. Steve, isn't there an arrow? That. Isn't there an arrow by the volume knob? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Is it buy, see ya, later, or buy, later, see ya? Whatever. Buy, see ya. Yeah, because the later is higher than everything else. Or buy, see later, ya. Hey, that's my sign-off for the uh, chat. Yep. Buy, later, see ya. Buy, see ya later. Definitely. <laughs> Dutchie5150 says you need a red 
detuna for it. Go with a gold one. Or is that what Ed had? Did Ed have yeah. a red one? He had a red one on his. He has a red one on his. I had yeah. a big block and and the uh, I believe he's, he has the titanium inserts too. Hmm. Well, get on it, Mike. What the hell are you doing, man? You had it for a week. I mean, jeez. <laughs> Johnny's in the production truck changing cameras. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm dragging ass in this guitar, obviously. So. <laughs> I have to put my order in. <laughs> well, hurry up. I think, uh, Look alive. I, I honestly think that there's a... Is there a 15% off coupon right now for uh, FU Tone? Somewhere? Huh. So, so, Michael, do you have a strap for that guitar? Have you have you tried playing that like standing up or the and the Ernie Ball standing up with a strap at all? Or the Ernie Ball? Yes, I haven't. I, no, I, but C three C three PO has. Yeah. No, he has a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> and you can spin it around like this. You can rest your flying V on it. Once it's striped on, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, because it's always one thing to to play a guitar sitting in your lap, but it's different. Right. It's a different game when you're standing up and playing it. Yeah. Yes. I wonder if they played C three PO ring toss. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes till Caleb's birthday. Five minutes. Five minutes. The countdown. Pacific. We all have to sing happy birthday to him. Oh no. And he's he's had anniversaries. He's had birthdays and yeah, September, August September is pretty big in this family. Just they get, just run them all off. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Nice yeah, way. Yeah. Present me. <laughs> you gonna present me for the next four minutes? No. <laughs> Too late. Should I should I do it again? Oh, yeah, Johnny almost got me. <laughs> My eyes are getting heavy. Somebody say something. Somebody say. I got a couple. Uh, something. Something. I got my uh, concert stubs. Uh oh. Something. Concert stubs from uh, some Van Halen, some other stuff. Hey, Kayla, where are the. Yes, Steve, I'm the guitar! I'm not hearing Steve. <laughs> He's gonna shred all night. This is a great show from uh, Donning to Ninety. So, oh yeah, Tony Katane, Tony Katane, <laughs> slide it in. <laughs> that's one of that's probably the song they're playing. That's one of the songs. Uh, what's his name on drums? Uh, Tommy Aldridge on drums. When was the last time he played that? Just now. No. <laughs> what are you going through, Dave? Uh, my Van Halen rig, the the wet dry wet rig, whole fifty water thing. Why does it sound too loud? It's not that? coming through the, your microphone well. Oh well, because I have it super duper low. Okay. It actually sounds like you have a super duper loud. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's really, it's really muffled. It didn't sound that bad at first. It got muffled towards the end, but I mean, but I seriously, when was the last time you played that riff? And then you just, it's funny when you play a riff that you haven't played in like years and you're like, holy crap, how do I remember this crap? Yeah. But I want to hear it again, man. You talk too much. I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we, we got, we Rudy, got Sar Rudy Sarzo on base. We got we got one minute. We got less than a minute. Oh. We're gonna sing "Happy Birthday" to Caleb in less oh, than a minute. Thanks, guys. Oh yeah, it's Caleb's birthday in less than a minute. Uh, Thir we, yeah. we got thirty. We got uh, twenty seconds. Oh, here we, we go. got it down, Johnny. In the chat, you got it. Should I present Caleb? Yeah. Right. yeah. Twenty yeah. seconds. It's your birthday, man. Fifteen seconds. Hanging with us. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh no, my phone's dying. Four, four three, two, one. Happy Yay! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The big three zero. Oh. Happy birthday, Caleb. Happy birthday, Nerd Halen rocks. Nerd Halen. Where are you blowing, Caleb? And many, many more. Hey, Caleb, I'm gonna st Caleb, I'm gonna stand up, blow out my C3PO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, isolate Johnny, on that. Are you still present, present. For everyone? <laughs> Johnny, can you can you present both of them for that? I just want to thank everybody. Yeah, for that. That was really nice. Caleb, I want to thank you for the for the t-shirt. That's great, man. Oh well. That was uh that, just that was an, that, that was an awesome bad. night, man. I, I I didn't see it till the next day, but it was kind of a pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah, that was all late show stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's Very you know that late, was yeah. that was really what I was thinking about the whole time. I was like, man, I hope John sees this. Yeah, because uh, he got me this shirt, and here we go. <laughs> and I'm, I'm using up my my three minutes with Michael Anthony basically talking <laughs> about the shirt. Oh uh, well, I'll send you your poster shirt for your, for your birthday. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't remember at first, though, right, John? Uh, Caleb, he didn't remember at first, but then he did, right? Yes. Well, I'm not sure. But he remembered like how it was cut, you know, like the other one was like had a, a collar yeah, cut. Yeah. yeah. The one he was wearing. Well, that's so. what you guys all have to do is relic relic your. Uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and you gotta you gotta cut it like at the belly button, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. No. And you gotta get that like Sobolewski. <laughs> Hairy chest. And then grow some yeah. the yellow yeah. pants. We'll get a wig and some yellow pants, yeah. Oh, thanks, Thrash Metal. Uh, send him over. Yep, send in a puppy. <laughs> Speaking of puppies, Johnny, how's uh, how's Howie? He's good. Uh, cool. A stack of pound cakes, very close. Too close. <laughs> Too close, dude. <laughs> 49. We're yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> Getting close uh, to the big five zero, man. Unbelievable. As close as you can get, son. I think I think I just hit it on the nose. <laughs> right here. Gross. <laughs> oh, why are you presenting me? I didn't say anything. I, I'm I'm just going down the line here because I'm. <laughs> Johnny's just hitting buttons right now. Just, funny. <laughs> <laughs> clank 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 clank. You, you, it's like the you, Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah, yeah. I, I think after this last hour, I think Michael Beatty will leave me alone. <laughs> no, that's never going to happen. <laughs> really, that's the second time you mentioned his name. Yeah, and what were you saying earlier? Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't ruin my birthday. So, so <laughs> who's playing who today? All right. Who's playing yeah. guitar with Steve and White Snake? <laughs> the Vandenberg, right? Vandenberg. Nobody. <laughs> Ad is it Adrian Vandenberg? Yeah. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Steve, Steve replaced Vivian Campbell. Was he was Vandenberg uh, like the more or less uh, permanent guitar player? Rhythm well, he was the touring player? guy. John Sykes oh, okay. was the was the was the album guy. Oh yeah, there's the timeline. Vivian Campbell. He was be was that be that was before uh yeah. wasn't Def Leppard? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he really oh, yeah, wasn't he was in the band that long. Steve he Clark was in the band for like a year. Vivian Campbell was in the band for like a year in eighty nine. My little miracle guy right here. Is that Davey? Yes it is. 
Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Yeah. Judy. It's, he is a miracle. It's amazing that I'm actually able to pet him right now. It's unbelievable. How old is he? He's 11. Oh. He'll be 12, hopefully, um, in October. What's his? Is he mixed? He's a. Uh, is he a mutt? Yeah, he's um, he's a beagle and uh, Jack Russell. Nice. Yeah. And the vet, like I said, the vet said he'd be gone in two weeks, and that was uh, twelve weeks ago yesterday. Well, so, he's uh, he's got the will to live. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That was funny. No, he's uh. Every second fresh one. Look at that face. Look at that face. I might. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. Come on. <laughs> Dogs are the best, man. Mm-hmm, Absolutely. You're a star, little man. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that face. Good boy. <laughs> My guy, man, that's my. Yeah. So, Michael Smith, what's happening with your weekend? What do you got planned? The concert Saturday night and tomorrow, bringing him in for some more fluids. Um, gonna go for a bike ride. Um, I took my bike out today, got it fixed. Had some problems with it, and now I'll be out riding around tomorrow a little bit. Hopefully, gotta try and. Uh, <laughs> Try and keep slim so I can slide slide inside the boilers. <laughs> I was telling David about that when I was out there. I think I bored I think I bored him and everybody else to tears, but No you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh you didn't? Maybe I didn't. No, that's that's I, I interesting what you do what you do for work. <laughs> you're re, you're repairing engines and, and going up inside and and locomotives and stuff. Yeah, going and inspecting them. I, I was in uh on day, I was in a boiler, and we found something that could have been a catastrophic uh, mistake if they would have went ahead and, and put it in there. But actually, I got the word yesterday that they're going to change it. So, yeah, and these holes are really small to climb inside these things. You cannot be claustrophobic, and you have to be a contortionist to get inside. I can imagine, them. yeah. Yeah. And you cannot be. Leo's getting larger. <laughs> and what what kind of engines are they? They're full. Are they diesel engines or are they? I know they're no, trains. But. No, the ones I'm getting in. Uh, I, well, I I inspect diesel locomotives as well, but the ones I'm talking about right now are steam locomotives, uh-huh. historic stuff. Stuff. I mean. Oh, okay. I'm, climb, I'm climbing in stuff that is built 1910, 20, wow. 30. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No. I had a neighbor who was huge into mod. He he did model trains, and he did. Uh, he had a huge. His whole basement was a full layout of model trains, and he'd always run down the street whenever the train was coming by. And uh, he, you know, he was obsessed with trains. But uh, that's cool. I mean, those things are powerful. You know, powerful wow. engines. You know. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be oh. able to pull. You know, what do they do? 50 cars sometimes more? 50. Nowadays, they're pulling a, a, a coal train, will be 100, 110 cars. And wow. now they're doing, uh, in the industry, they're doing, they're pulling cars upwards of 200. Wow. They're trying to, yeah. You'll have the three, three locomotives in the front, and they put locomotives in the middle uh-huh. and in the rear. Wow. And they, they talk to each other, you know, with computers uh-huh. and stuff like that. And the, ton, the tonnage that they move is, is ridiculous. It's unbelievable. And you got two guys in the front holding all that. Uh-huh. Uh, Michael, you got some questions here in the chat. Simon Williams from the UK asks uh, Did you see the pictures of the Victorian pumping station uh, I posted on Facebook? Well, worth a look. Who's that? I'll have to go check, check out some of her videos. <laughs> <laughs> they call her the Victorian. 
<laughs> guys, I got I gotta go. It's uh ten after three here, and I gotta go. Yeah, I'm go. good too. By the way, you guys want to call? Sure. Oh, we we stay up for your birthday, and now you're splitting. It's his no, birthday. No, I appreciate it. That was Jay. That was, Jay, yeah. before you go, I wanted to tell you my weird Al story. Go ahead. Shoot. I was once yeah. trapped in an ele- trapped in an elevator with Weird Al. <laughs> really? Yeah. Was it was it was it Afro Weird Al or was it long haired? It down was Weird circa Al. 2000, I guess. Weird Al, okay. sometime around then. He played the club that I worked at probably three years in a row. Uh, great show, amazing. He had all costume changes mm-hmm. and everything, all kinds of you know video, special effects, and everything. So when the show ended, you know. And he had a huge production too. I mean, he had a lot of backline and you know several musicians. Um, he signed a lot of autographs at the end of the show, and then he uh, was ready to go on to his bus. And you had the option of either going down the back stairs to the bus or taking the car, the freight elevator down to the bus. Would this have been um, the Running with Scissors tour? It was the the tour that he did that uh, Star Wars. Um, the, the the Star Wars song, the jo- um, Yoda. Yoda, yeah, it was the Coolio, I think, or something like that. Yeah, but, didn't didn't see three up, see three up covered <laughs> big ten inch. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we we were bringing him. We we brought him down the the freight elevator, uh, down to his bus, and uh, at the bottom of the elevator, you have to have somebody on the outside to open the elevator. And so the elevator went down. We had some of his gear in there, and, and him and his manager, and himself and a couple other people. Okay. And he stopped at the bottom, and uh, and uh, nothing happened. Nobody opened the door, so he's standing there in the back corner, just kind of, you know, looking at us like, "What's going on?" After about thirty seconds, they opened the door, but uh, he 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 was silent. Yeah, he didn't really say anything. He was just like, "You know, what's going on?" But I was trapped in an elevator with Weird Al. It was kind of no. Was nobody kinda, farted. Uh, I did, I, you know. <laughs> it, it was a uh, once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. That was that, about yeah, that it. was the Amish that's Paradise cool. um, album, yes. I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. And I remember his his uh, stage manager, his tech uh, Mongo. Mongo was his name, and he was climbing up in the rafters. This guy was like an acrobat. He would he was climbing up, setting up the video screens, setting up some of the lights. Literally, like, and the guy was probably five foot two and just climbing all over the, the rigging and everything, Mongo. Hmm. But that's that's the Weird Al, uh, Weird Al story. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Awesome. I'm about had it. It yeah. was awesome. Yeah. yeah, boys, happy birthday, Caleb! Again, oh, happy yeah. birthday, Caleb, and thanks again, man. Yeah, thanks for sticking out uh, here with us, uh, Caleb, on your birthday. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I was stuck out about 10 inches, actually. Yeah. <laughs> C-3PO. C-3PO. <laughs> Give C-3PO yeah. a run for his money. Yeah, it's no, it's no Jay how, Instagram how cool story. Is that really, that you just, <laughs> how cool is that you hung out with us and everybody live, right, for your birthday? That's awesome. <laughs> hung out. Caleb, that, that might have to be my next uh, McRockland video. I might have to get a C-3PO suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Halloween. <laughs> That's definitely going to be the, uh, the, 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 the screenshot. If, if I go with C-3PO for Halloween, I don't have to hold my uh, Halloween bag. I can just, you know. Oh, that would be <laughs> so classic. Have <laughs> people toss candy, like, you know, out from the, out from like the ring. We already, yeah. Yeah, like the ring toss. Yeah, thanks, C-3PO. It's 2 o'clock. <laughs> I knew on my sundial. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Am I here? Can yeah. you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess we're out of here. Um, happy birthday, Caleb. Thanks so much. Very, very cool. Let me see. Hey, let me present everybody as I say goodbye. Can you I think present it's on, everybody? I think it's on Caleb. All right. Happy birthday, Caleb. Happy birthday, Caleb. There he is. Can you, can you present happy birthday, Caleb? Like, that, like, have, it, have it like when you go to a bar and you see like eight games on one TV. Can you do that? Like the Brady Bunch? Um, yeah. Cool. The Beanie Bunch? <laughs> <laughs> the Johnny Bunch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, okay. Good night, Jay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I think it's on you. Yeah. Good night. Here's John Biel. There Good he night, is. John.
Thanks oh. again, Caleb. Oh, look at that. Mr. Michael Anthony on base. That is so cool. Look at that. And again, if you want to see the video of Michael Anthony signing that shirt, thanks to Caleb, there'll be a card on the uh, uh, right-hand side of the screen. You'll see it. You'll, you'll see it. Click on it. You can watch that video. That was a great video. Michael. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Captain. Captain. you man. As always, thank you so much. Awesome. God bless yeah. and keep on rocking, everyone. <laughs> Nice. Steve Anderson. Sorry, I had to take over your show, Steve, but we technical <laughs> glitches, man. Yeah, had lots of technical glitches. Sorry about that, everybody, but we'll sort it out. Yeah. So, Glad you yeah. figured it out, Steve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Steve, Steve's endorsed by Google Chrome now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Google Chrome's endorsed well, by Steve. Everybody, uh, Tuesday night. Five o'clock Pacific, eight o'clock Eastern for Johnny B. Tuesday. 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 Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll uh, see you then. Be. 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 Be.